this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Ray. Many men had tried to take him and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer though he was vicious and, and the notches on his pistol numbered one in nineteen more. One in nineteen more. Now the stranger started talking, made it plain to folks around. Was an Arizona ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry, men the tribe before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. The morning passed so quickly it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody held their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death, about to meet his death. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas red had not cleared leather for a bullet fairly ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. How does it feel to treat me like you do when you've laid your hands upon me and told me who you are? I am the devil, and I am here to do the devil's work. I feel like shit. Happy Monday, happy days. 
Monday. How is everyone? I missed the first things you might have played. Did you? Did you? Did you have a? Did you play Big Iron or like a pirate song? Is there is there extra lore for today? Uh, no, just the Monday lineup. Um, Big Iron, then the Devin Tracy remix, then. Uh, the Green Ranger. Um, fucking Happy Days, Space Jam. Happy Days. Oh, Space Jam got edited. Okay, people are gonna yell. It's fine. This is this is a fine intro. Lots of compromise in this one. Everybody gets something they want. I think. Well, yeah, it's the Monday intro. I mean, people complained a lot about when we got rid of. Uh. You know, the old happy days. So, in order of uh, conciliation, I thought, hey, I'll, I'll bring it back every Monday for the fans. Tried to make it better. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to compromise. Oh. Now people like uh, wanting me That's what they wanted. Hmm? I mean... That's in all caps as well. I know. Yeah. A serious kick in order. I think the Monday lineup is proving problems, and maybe I should just get rid of it and get rid of Happy Days. Oh, that's the answer. Well, that's the answer to everything is to get rid of Happy Days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it seems to be r rolling up the the peanuts. The people are getting all you know uppity. I'm not going anywhere, but Happy Days can. Oh my God. People are not gonna go with this very, very long. You're, you are riling people up. You're gonna rile them up. I, it's fine. It's first thing of the week. You're welcoming, welcoming them back from the weekend, and pissing them right off. That's, that's a good way to do things. I'm just saying, you know, there, there are options, and you know, if, if playing Happy Days on Monday is Proving to be a problem. That's something. That's something I can fix. Hey man, gave two and said my two dollars. I like the intro today. I like the Monday intro too. So hey man. Ryan Harlan said I've missed the last two weeks. Can you give a recap? Right, hold on. Maybe. Let me see, <laughs> Let me see if I can. All right. I'm going to look over here and try to recap the past two weeks. Uh, Commentary community had to eat shit because they, re you know, got caught. Yeah, Bo Blacks got in a lot of trouble. Uh, Nick yelled at Bo Blacks on a live stream, explained how their dumb argument for archive channels was just dumb. And Bo Blacks had made it everything bad, and Bo Black striking people made everything horrible, and they, they're they all very mad at him. Some kid named I Bully Bullies came by, and he really sucks at everything he tries to do, and it makes me feel kind of bad for him, but at the same time, he's really pompous for someone who is so clueless. Uh, we talked about CRP's GoFundMe, or Indiegogo, actually. Uh, CRP's Indiegogo campaign where he was writing a book that turned out to be someone else's book, but he also didn't even send it out to people and he got like 10 grand for it. And the lamest of all, uh, 
Adrian Blum, who tells everybody hi in chat whenever they show up, he is uh, he is passed on, and he is uh, no longer no longer with us, no longer around. Uh, miss Adrian a good deal. You notice you notice it a lot now, just being like this. Is, uh, longer it goes, the more you notice. But. It's been a it's been a very very eventful two weeks, so you know. Uh, Monkey Phonics said same here. He probably didn't know either. I'd, I think Monkey Phonics has been gone for like a few weeks, so they probably didn't know. I have missed things already because I clicked over to the. Uh, the channel and just went across the thing for like the last two weeks shows like that's what happened. Uh Gadfly gave his two dollars said my two dollars hates Heyman and the Kuji. Killing Joke said my five dollars hate you all. Can we accept hate dollars? If YouTube would let us don't tell them about it. <laughs> don't tell them that we have hate money. I'm pretty sure that got somebody in trouble before. Ah, uh, you learned that the YouTube altar has cringy stuff on it. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I talked to a few more people about altar over the weekend over in Devin's server. I went over there for a few seconds, and it was brought up, and I had to explain the gay bathroom troll monster and good guy with a gun again and it's yeah it's painful <laughs> it's painful to even try to explain this i think that was the last chapter we left off on was how the horror short channel author just yeah kind of shit the bed but never fear a recurring character from Early last week, was it early last week, we uh, looked over and saw somebody screaming at people behind counters like a fucking moron. Uh, and yeah. he got arrested for yeah. the surprise of no one. Oh, oh, he earned that arrest too. He earned more than that. He's lucky he didn't get a beating. He has become... I don't know. I don't know what it would be. I don't want to say recurring character because this is not going to last long. This trajectory he's on? Oh, it's, yeah, he's not going to last very long at all. Oh, Monkey Phonics, uh, through 666 cents. I say, here's some hate money. More hate money, everybody. We're, this, is, this isn't going to backfire. Hate money everywhere. Oh, yeah. YouTube busts in. Susie comes in with the uh, SWAT team. What kind of money is that? It's hate, it's hate money. Um. <laughs> It's fine. Apparently, uh, Thrax and Naomi also almost died in the past two weeks. As long as it stays at almost, I can deal with it. All right, there's a thing Good that was happening with Steph over too. the weekend. Yeah, I'm hoping they all, they get better. But as long as it stays almost, we're good. Uh, Steph had a weird thing happen over the weekend. I hope that gets squared. Why Every, she, everybody why did she wake up weird. cute again? Oh, look at you. I'm pretty sure that's a reoccurring theme. Oh, look, look at it. It's fucking just, it's aim, fire, he had lined up. Terrible. As much as the chatter of recurring characters, I don't think it's going to be very fair to say that this person's a recurring character because I don't see this repeating very many more times. Did how, you hear what many, happened this time? I may have had a brief look in the evidence locker, yeah. Okay. I mean, there's only so many times you can do this before you're going to end up getting... Mm -hmm. How many times can you get arrested for being a dick before they go, all right, you're not learning your lesson, so we're not letting you go this time? Yeah, that's about enough you're, of that. You go into the big house. Well, 
I mean, some judge is going to get sick of seeing him eventually. Well, they're going across, so they're not going to see the same judge. It's going across the states, different states, but yeah. Yeah, we're talking about old Baked Alaska, by the way. He, he did another thing. Uh, last week it was being a fool and screaming about SJWs and hat stores and being arrested this week. Not to be outdone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you do those things two days in a row. Remember, we were talking about how he, you know, he's got the fucking mace out. Shit like this. What are you doing? Well, that wasn't he... him. That was his goofy, two goofy, yeah, goofy entourages. Entourages. Well, I'm glad that you pointed out. Well, that's not him. That was his entourage. On today's episode, we're going to be dealing with pretty much exclusively him. Right up until a very fun conclusion. I've given it a look over. I've missed some things, but we did. We passed this through to the. Uh, we gave it to the network. Network being Smile, and he went through it to make it okay for us to stream because we know that even if other YouTubers can stream things, we can't stream anything without everybody and their mother just flagging us. We may even get flagged for the idea that someone said something in this video that we're going to bleep out. Not kidding. We may still get got. But we'll see how it plays out. We're gonna do it anyway. You know those identical twins from Good Morning Vietnam? And they go over the news and they just start crossing things out. I imagine that was Smile editing this. Kind of. Just okay. Can't say this. Can't say that. Sensor. <laughs> there, there is going to be a couple of large swaths of silence. But, uh, you'll see. You'll see. Are you, uh, are you prepared? Have you seen this, and do you have the Smile Network cut? I have the Smile Network cut, but I have not nice. seen this. Ooh. All right, well, you're going to be in for a treat here, Kuzi. I probably <laughs> should have watched the original, so I knew what he was saying, but... I only woke up and seen these things this morning. You're okay. Morning. I'll tell you what's happening. Don't worry about it. I can imagine. Because I know the type of stuff we have to edit out. Mm-hmm. So. Let's give this a listen to. Baked Alaska continues his insane RV trip, harassing and assaulting random members of the public for air quotes content. This video contains violent acts and explicit language that may offend some viewers. I like I'm so that. sorry, ma'am. It's not, I'm not doing that, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know I'm, what you're people doing. are playing, like aliens have been abducting my mind and they're playing music out of my brain and no. I just can't stand that! Is it good music? I, yeah! Yes it is! It's beautiful music. It sounds like the angels coming down from heaven. God bless you. I love you. Can I give you a hug? No. Uh, I want what are you doing harassing this old lady? What a fucking douchebag. just any old lady I know, I'm gonna knock the shit out of you. It seems to be a recurring theme for him. He likes to go after women, the elderly, mm -hmm. and just harangue them in public. Mm-hmm. That go ahead. No, keep it. He's gonna keep doing this. I hate this guy. He's such a fucking scum. I didn't. I remember one seeing one when I was like, "Yeah, he, he wasn't so bad." And maybe that was just because he was gone for so long. And we dealt with so much shit from the other fucking idiots to where is like, okay. Hey, he probably won that bet. No, he's a fucking moron. Belongs 100% with the rest of them. He used to be just a goofy idiot. Now, he's running around harassing women and old people for content. We've seen at the same time 
he carefully selected which which uh, Burger King he was going to go into. Uh, do this in any public city. Go go down to the city and do this baked. Go up to people who are tiny elderly women and people who are working. Go up to somebody who's got some free time on their hands and do this shit. Somebody who's you know, around your age, able-bodied, and oh, I don't know, baked male. <laughs> Fuck. Go ahead. I want a hug. No. Can I have a quick hug? No. Why? I want a hug. I love no. you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. No. No way. Oh, Look I'm at so her sad. hand. Look at the right hand, man. Yeah, she's freaking she's out. Absolutely she's absolutely distressed. She's afraid. Yes. There is a big, weird-looking guy. And when I say big, it's big compared to her. She, this is a tiny lady. Look at where the, the rail's coming across. She might be like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, this is a tiny old lady. And he is chasing her around, saying he's going to hug her, and screaming at her, and she don't know what's going on. She just wants to be left alone. Going to the fuck? Where is she even at? A grocery store? Fuck off, man. Uh, a fucking mall or something. But, yeah, when you look at her hand gestures here, she is completely um, feeling defensive. She is feeling under pressure. Assaulted. She's afraid. Afraid. That was, that was a very scared look. There and there and there and there and he won't. Just fuck off. This is why people will be perfectly fine. Somebody comes up to him and just belts him around the fucking head. Nobody cares. When you do shit like this, nobody gives a fuck about you. Rightfully. They are correct to not give a fuck about you. And any idiot in his chat that's like, oh, this is fucking based. You're a fucking moron. Yeah, and you hold deserve on. A head hold too. on. JB gave five and said, now that's fucking based. I know he's kidding. I've heard him. Okay, I was going to say, JB's fucking around. I know he's fucking they, around. You know, it's one of but his I old guarantee you that there's idiots in baked chat right now. Well, I can see the thing where, like, somebody's laughing at it. I won't be laughing at it. That's like, this is the kind of shit that makes you want to. If you're in that town, you begin to consider if you can get down to that store before he gets away from it, because you would kind of like to talk to him about it. Kind of like to have a little dialogue with you. This is, this is also another reason for the Second Amendment. This, this woman is not able to fend off this man. You need a firearm, an equalizer. At he the would, same time... He would not uh, be fucking same, with you. He might not if she pulled the gun out, but again, at the same, I don't know if I want her, I don't know if I want him to be shot for it. I'm not saying shoot him. I'm just saying. But if one of the cashiers in there is a dude and he saw this and came running out the door right now, knocked the shit out of him, oh, I would feel a little sympathy. A applause. I would yeah. applause. It would be one of those things where, and then everybody clapped, I would actually believe it. Yeah. Standing ovation. Yeah. Like, you're chasing an old woman into a store yelling at her and trying to touch her and she's freaking the fuck out. You, you're you asking for her. Yeah, you fucking you want suck. It. As a people. I just was saying I love you. God bless you. Trump 2020. Go to hell. Go to hell? What? Yeah, that's funny, Bait. That's great. This is not Get your out. store. Get out of my no. face. You're not Mama. social distancing. Get out of my no. face. You're not social distancing. Mama. Six feet away. You're Six feet mess. away. Shut Six up. feet the fuck away. I'm break your fucking camera. Oh, you're going to break my camera? Yeah, Mama. I'd like to see it. You're threatening me. Mama. You cannot touch my property. Get the fuck out of Mama. my face. Six feet away. Make Six me. feet away, bitch. Make me. Six feet away. Make me. Get the fuck out. Make me. You're working. You're on Make the clock. Me. Get the fuck out of my face. Make me. Get the fuck out of my face. She's, She's not taking any of this shit. I ain't touching my hands. Step away. 
one hundred percent, I think that woman could beat his ass. Oh, she probably would, and she wants to. You can tell. He's lucky she was on the clock. He even reminded her of it, like, don't forget, you can't do anything, you're on the clock. <laughs> I'm safe. Um, I can't tell if she's a lot smaller than him. She looks like she's a little shorter than him. But she is a bigger girl, and she looks like she can probably handle her uh, handle herself by the way she is. Little reservation to get right up on him, so. Uh, she looks very fighty. A little bit of pushback, and now he's, he's, oh, you don't get too close, you're on the clock, and now he's looking away. People who work in these jobs genuinely need to keep them. Bake knows this and knows it will keep him safe when terrorizing them, and it's cowardice. It is. That, yeah. 100%. That. <clears throat> uh, Peasy in the chat said, uh, she then replies, my boss would pay me extra to punch your lights in. <laughs> hmm. Grant would have risked the job to knock him out. I wouldn't blame you. Joke said, uh, well, someone just mollywop this dude, and I disagree. <laughs> he fucking sucks as a human being. Just absolute garbage. Keep going. Let's keep going. Let's, uh, let's hey, see. Yo, Get you my just face. touched my property. Do not face. touch my property. Get out my face. You Do not touch my property. Thing, Get out. I'm not calling anybody. I'll nothing. show you. Get out. Yo. You chill the fuck out. Get out! No. Get out! You, touch my you can imagine what was said there. You call me a... Well, then I'll show you a... <laughs> yeah. My property, again, Get out. see what happens. Get see out. what the fuck happens. Stop touching Get me. Get out! I'm Get not away. touching you. Get you, out! You just grabbed my phone. Get out! You just grabbed my fucking Get out. phone. You got it in my face. Get out of no, my store! No, you're the one in my Get face. Get out of my store! You're the one in my fucking face. Get out of Back my store! Back away! Stop touching my property! Get out of my store! Look, that she, was so no, 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 no. What no, was no. uncalled for? Why are you not playing that? Get out of my store! No, no someone's no, okay. donating. It's called a live stream. Okay. I'm not playing that. Okay, pause. No! I hate this weak shit. This is the same shit that fucking Andy pulled, isn't it? I'm not doing anything! Someone's doing it on a live stream! You have a, you know what a volume button is? You absolutely set this up to do that. You are absolutely 100% responsible. Yeah, quit being a pussy. Oh, it's a live stream. Someone's do. I slapped the shit out of you. I, mm. I mean, mm. if you're playing a song on your phone, I mean, are you not responsible for what's playing? The whole, it's a live stream excuse, somebody requested, that, that's absolute rock of shit. Now, the term cowardice is being turned, uh, thrown around quite a lot in the chat. Guys, you're not ready. Cowardice. We're about to, we're about to have a real cowardice talk here in a second. Holy fuck. But, it's just, what a fucking menace. It's a nuisance, a public nuisance. You're not a public enemy. You're not, you're not a menace to society. You don't get to be that cool. You are a nuisance. Nuisance. Fuck this loser. Fucking like a human-like mosquito. Deserves an ass-whipping as much as anybody I've ever seen in my fucking life. But... Hats off to the young lady in front of us. I see she is a believer in Reptar Jesus. Praise Reptar Jesus. He will protect her here. He will. Beg uh, will be banished from this store. As uh, he when protects. Reptar Jesus sends an angel. 
Uh, he protects all of uh, the true believers. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm not playing you that shit. Fucking, you know, you thought it was fucking funny. No, get I'm out. not playing that shit. Get out. So why, 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 why you get out. Get out. Stop it. Get the fuck you out. You cannot tell. If you want to. I'm not touching you. You already did. I'm you're not already touching you. my property. Cops. There's cops right here. Yeah, exactly. Here this lady. Can I tell him to get out? Yes, yes sir. Of course. Please kick his ass. Oh, see, look at the threats. Is that okay? Are the oh, threats look, at the, look at the threat. She's threatening me. I'm the victim here. You're such a fucking pussy, though, when the police show up. Oh, y yes, sir. No, sir. <clears throat> such a weak bitch. Why didn't you stand in there and continue making the arguments after the cops showed up, Baked? If you were in the right. Huh? Okay. Show me GG, sure, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm live streaming. No, I'm, I'm keeping it on. I'm going to keep it on for my safety, you sir. You need to turn that off. It's private property. No, I'm keeping that on for my safety, sir. Okay, I will leave. I will leave. Okay. And he just gets to leave. Now, pause real quick. Do you, do you hear all the silence? Yeah. This is during a time when they are playing a clip over and over that's saying, guess what? Hmm. Might have been the word <laughs> over that said that woman. and off. over and over and over. And the cop's just pointing and getting his phone out to call somebody because he's probably like, okay, I know what happened here. And Bakes like, I gotta go, fam. I need to get, just let, I gotta go. And he's My just walking away from the me. cop. The cop's like, hold on, hold on. Hold there, bud. <laughs> I gotta go. My people need me. Bye. No, you stay here for a minute. We're gonna have a chat. I wonder what happened there. How does he know? Hey, but if you want to back here, huh? I don't, I don't need, I don't need to apologize to you. Out of your white the... Is he? Is that the other end of the store? Yeah. No, it's a gas station. Yeah, but store there's here. the thing. Oh, this place? Yeah, it looks like he he went back. You're right. Goddamn. And then here's like the other end or something. But if you Does aren't, if you back here, huh? I don't, I don't need, I don't need to apologize to you. Yeah, I imagine that thing's playing again. Oh, look at him run. Look at him fucking run. And this dude is not big either. This is bad. Uh, this part's bad. He's hardcore right uh, now, do you until now. Now, I'm, Do you see when those people turn around? Do, it's the same clip again where you have nothing but the N-word being spammed. Yeah. All right, so we have a particularly light-skinned gentleman here. He does not like that word. So he would like to come over and have a word. Baked turns into asses and elbows. He is a bad motherfucker until this happens. Someone is walking toward him. Oh, God. Yeah. You remember how hard Corey was when he was in that shop? Now, not so much. Look at him fucking run. Runs away, gets his mace out, shakes it, and mace. You fucking bitch. You absolute fucking bitch. This is, this is peak weakness. You, you fucking run up and you harass old women and anybody else. 
but as soon as one dude steps up to you, you run away to pull the mace out. And I'm pretty sure we can see by his shadow here that he actually started... Yeah, look, he's running. He... He got moving. That's a lot of spur. One of those, that's one of those that unleashes that shit. Yeah. Look. In the van. Escape. By the way, it's still silent because the clip's still going. Fucking hide out in your van. Yo. Bro. Yo, you gotta help. Get up, get up. Someone's trying to fuck... Fucking help! Help! I had to fucking make this guy, dude. Can you guys help. fucking get up and help, please? Well, I don't wanna fight. Yeah, Everybody, yeah. wake up! I don't want to fight. Something really dumb. Yeah. Help me with funny. this guy that I already maced. I already maced, but I still need your backup. Get up, guys! Help. I fucking hate you, baked. Do you think there is any chance that we are reading this wrong? How other what other way could it be read? There is no other interpretation. What am I supposed to do? Ignore my lying eyes? I just seen what I've been watching I watched last week what he did. And he's over here doing the same fucking shit, except he walked into the wrong person, somebody who wasn't going to take his shit, just like we said that he eventually would. Alright. I'm just, I was, is there any way fucking possible? I'm looking at this wrong. Nope, okay. No. We absolutely Gadfly. seen what just happened. Gadfly thrown from this is why I say Nurse Ratchet did nothing wrong. Bake should be in an institution with people like her in charge. And P Noid three five says, Why do people pretend they want to fight and don't know how? I don't know if Bake pretends he wants to fight. Bake he just wants to annoy the fuck out of you and you say and do absolutely nothing back. I don't think that Baked Alaska could fight his way out of a paper bag with a chainsaw. He absolutely does not want to fight, and he's not even pretending he wants to fight. Whenever anything that looks like a confrontation comes up, he runs. He's not even going to front. He's not even going to pretend. What he's doing is walking around harassing people that he sees as weaker than him. And as soon as somebody comes up who is not going to take his shit, Run away. Well, this is a perfect example the of the shit. Get two guys. This is to what back fucks. It. This is what fucks YouTube for everybody. This is a legitimately someone trying to monetize harassing people while they're at work, while they're old and trying to get groceries. I do you get what I'm saying? Like this is literally monetizing harassing the shit out of people, waiting for someone to get assaulted is all. The, that's all this is a waiting game to see who's gonna get got. Mm. And right now, oh. it was that other fella who got maced. Mm. Let me go grab more drink real quick. I have already drank through my entire coffee. We just started. Mm. One sec. I'm going to bring this back a minute. Because this particular part here, this needs to live forever. This is absolutely how weak this motherfucker is. This guy starts walking towards him, saying, What the fuck, man? He fucking runs. 
he runs, he turns around, he maces the guy, and then retreats to his van to get back up. This is fucking pathetic right here. Absolutely pathetic. Yo. Bro. Yo, you gotta help. Get up, get up. Someone's trying to fuck, fucking help. I had to fucking miss this guy, dude. Help. Can you guys fucking get up and help, please? Help. Yeah, dude. God damn it. Help, help. Please help. Just got back to help, help. What are you? <laughs> yeah, I went back a minute to, to show everyone. Everybody, again. wake up! Help, bro! Help, yeah. <laughs> bro! Bro, help! You know, I bro. imagine that poor old lady wanting, you know, to buy groceries. She probably thought the same thing, <sighs> except she didn't have a van full of douchebags and mace with her. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, like, he he did other shit that may have made other people angry. That one in particular? Yeah. Yeah, I'd slap the fuck out of him. I would bring blood <laughs> to the surface of his skin. I would slap him so fucking hard. Oh, my God. Uh, and they would applaud Human you. beings. People would applaud you for it. And it'd be banned off YouTube. Human beings, am I right, lads? Human being is a strong word to be used here. Baked. Got a lot of contempt for that guy before this even happened. But this is, uh, you know. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Go ahead. Uh, let's see what Captain Ballsy's gonna do now. Help! Come in the front. He's locked. Have they locked themselves in? Here, watch out. Oh Here shit! Pause. Pause. They locked themselves in the van! No, no, no. Not just locked themselves in. Do you see what's happened here? He has woke up what looks to be a young teenage black kid. To go fight his battle that he picked. He did that. And you know why he got the black kid. Yeah, because of the shit that he was playing. Ah! Fuck! Ah! And now you're gonna hide behind a kid. Ah! Mmm! Fuck! That! Go ahead! I'm in the front. Here, watch out. Here you go. Watch out. Here you go. He's not getting in front of him. He reaches up there, unlocks it, and he's like, yeah, there you go. You go out there, bud. Yo! Move! 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 Hey! Oh, what the fuck? Yo, Get the fuck out! He comes out, immediately pushes the lady, grabs her, throws her, and this is definitely going to go well. This is going to go great, guys. Baked, went and grabbed, woke up his young black friend to defend him from women. After he had incited that. Treating the boy like a fucking attack, attack dog. dog. Yeah. Essentially sick him and opens the door. Fuck off. 
Like, oh, Grant, I was about to say it. I was. Please notice, this is being taken from an overhead view. This motherfucker is still in that fucking thing, but just filming from up above. He's not going to help his friend. He woke up to go fight his battle. Yeah. He's not even going to step would be out. Too much. He wants to be yeah, able would to be close the door if he has to and leave his friend out there. He will leave that motherfucker hanging. Exactly. He will shut him out there and be like, oh, I don't know what happened, bro. Fight breaks out around me. You, you kind of, you get a feel for the, the surroundings and you're in there. Especially when there's like six people versus your one guy, your one friend here. Uh, see citation for like February. You know, you, you don't do that. You don't. I'm going to film my friend trying to fight and I'm um, idiot piece of shit. Keep in, going. In this situation, I would be grabbing the friend. Say, what the fuck are you doing? That's a woman. Yeah, get the fuck back in here. Definitely, he would, I'd be trying to... If I could do it without getting got by... Yeah, I would try to get them chilled. But once, you know, they start attacking me when I'm trying to grab it, then it's you two versus everybody. This shit goes fast. That's the thing with the physical altercation. Shit goes fast, Akajin. New players and all that shit goes very quickly. Go ahead. Hey, yo, yo! Stop it! Stop it, dude! Stop it! Yo! Stop it! Stop it, bro! Hold on! Is that his other friend? Let's go! Pause! Pause! Let's go! Let's go! Rick Alaska is now screaming, let's go! After he is the one who incited this shit, went and woke his friend up, and sent him out there to fight the fight. And you know that was the specific attention because the guy, when he was woken up, he's like, oh man, I don't feel like fighting at the moment. He's done this before. This isn't the first time this guy has been given this job. Get up, get up. Someone's trying to fuck, fucking help. Help. I have help, to fucking mace help. this guy, dude. Can you guys fucking help. get up and help, please? Fight. Yeah, dude. I don't want to fight. Yeah, dude. Obviously you don't. You went at the whip. <laughs> Come in the front. Here, watch out. Here you go. Alright, I'll unlock him. There you go. There you go. Now go get him. Look, he backed up before he even walked out. Move, move, move. move. Hey! Hey! Yo, yo, get the fuck out. Yo, yo, stop it, stop it, dude. Stop it. All yo, these men around, stop and it. it's two go, women go. going at this guy. Let's fucking go. Yes. Another woman enters the fray. Pause. Oh, my God. Do you see Gilligan over here? There is three dudes right here. They chilling. standing yeah. there, doing fucking chilling. nothing. Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Two women come to the defense of another woman being attacked by this young guy. The bait set on her. Oh. The fuck is wrong with people? These people don't know what balls even are at this point. Anyways, like, there's just... I'm gonna sit here with my backwards ball cap. I'm gonna stand here and hold my shopping bag. I'm gonna stand here with my Gilligan hat and film it with my phone absolute state of fucking dudes in this fucking group. The ones from outside and the ones inside the RV. Uh, RV. RV. The fucking state of these motherfuckers. Look at them. I'm not seeing one redeemable male here. No, there is no sack to be seen anywhere. No spine whatsoever among all these dudes. Even the one who went in to do shit, he fucking, he fu the small chick grabs her and throws her and starts a fight. Fuck it, man. It's. I don't know. Liz Barlow for two says, uh, there's no men in this video except for three women. Kinda. Yeah. Their, their ovaries, their lady this particular are one, a yeah. lot bigger than anything these guys are carrying. 
this is a pathetic showing uh, for the males. Uh, pathetic showing. You have Baked Alaska screaming with his phone, Come on, let's stop, let's go! It's like, the men and women have reversed roles so much from... And just even when I was younger, you know, like when I was a kid, you, the men would be fighting and shit, and the women were like, "Come on, honey, let's see. come on." There no, was the, there was that one guy three minutes ago, and well, then fucking yeah. baked maced him. Well, that all right? That's fine, but look at all the guys here now. Yeah, ignore no ignore. There's way too many guys here right now for the only people to be showing any kind of sack at all to be women. I wish I could get involved, but, you know, I'm holding these packages and my groceries, and I don't... I'm holding a bag of cigarettes, it yeah. looks like. Well, it's I'm just protecting... It's a bunch of cigarettes and some yeah. beer, maybe. These are the things that need protecting. No, you, you two are holding excuses. You may as well be holding handbags. Yeah. Actually, given the fight that I've seen from the women these days, and particularly today... I'm starting to feel bad for calling these guys skirts and, you know, saying that that thing, they may as well be carrying handbags. Because it seems like the women are absolutely got more spine than the men these days. This is fucking shameful. Let's go! Let's go! Chill! Chill the fuck out! Chill the fuck out! Yo! Ryan, help him! Chill the fuck out! Help him! Help him! Chill the fuck out! Yo! Chill the fuck out! Help him! He's three on one! Come on! Stop! Stop it, dude! Let's go! Another woman! Another woman rushes in. Guy fucking came after me, I had to fucking spray him, dude! Trump 2020. Come on, let's go! Let's go. They're telling him to go play that shit in South Central. Yeah. Let's go. What was the point of that? What are you questioning them for? I just was attacked. By who? No. By who? By who? Really? You attacked us. Let's go. Fuck you, Dykes. Oh, Dykes? Yeah. Get the oh, fuck look at him run. The fuck? What a bitch. He didn't want none of her. The look end of the video look refused how fast to he... be outdone by the rest of it. Yeah. As soon as he knows he can retreat. And, and his alleged friend is still out there. Old fucking Gilligan over here. Traveling Gilligan. As soon as it looks like she is going to invade his personal space and lay a finger on his blessed head. Look at how fast he slams this door. Fuck you, Dykes. Oh, hi, Dykes. Yeah. What? Get the fuck. The fuck. Absolute bitch. So, who's going to feel bad when that guy gets the shit knocked out of him? Nope. Who's going to feel that that guy is being unjustly accused of being a fucking nuisance? Oh, he. And disturbing the peace. He, he's earned it so bad. The only thing I'm afraid of is I'm afraid his ass whooping may come from a woman instead of another man. I wouldn't hate it. If a fucking woman walks up on him and knocks his fucking lights out. And he's just out cold from it. I'd, 
I, I wouldn't be. hate it. I'm just worried that, you know, a woman is going to be the only one that has the balls to give him what he fucking is asking for. That's going to be a good video. What if he gets hit? <sighs> and when he falls down, the... Like the camera, the it just stands up just right because of whatever stand he uses. And it's pointed at his face. And you can, you can pretty much see the canaries circling around his fucking nose. It would be perfect. Like, you know, he gets clocked, falls down, the camera falls down, the camera's pointed at his face, and you can see, yes, sir, this man's been, he's been knocked out. He is out like a light. If this guy found himself on the wrong end of some violent crime, I wouldn't be mad about it. I wouldn't hate it. Wouldn't blame you. No. Uh, help for the guildless is gay fuck, I said. He shows up right here and doing this garbage. I know for a fact KG and I would have words for him. Pretty much everybody would. Except for the people he's around for some reason. And uh, I, I, I want to emphasize something that we saw in that video. Other than, what was the guy's name? What was the dude's name? Which one? Did the, uh... The guy we're talking about, I forgot Baked. his name. Baked, yes. Fucking loser. God, I forgot his name again. Baked Vagina. Absolute... Pussy motherfucker. Just loser. Piece of shit. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, over Alaska. Okay. Absolute disgrace of a human being. Should be ashamed every day that he wakes up and Mother Nature hasn't done what should have been done. He... Fuck. If, if you watch, you know, you, you see the thing. He sprays the guy with the mace. Run away. He talks all the shit. Run away. He fucking did, you know, did what he did. He screamed at the lady at the end. Ran away. The only time he doesn't run away... And from what we've seen, is when he was going at that old lady, because she wanted to run away. Here's the thing. I think there's going to be a scene where he runs to go, you know, he's running away, trying to get into the RV, and it's locked, and he can't get in in time. That'd be great. I think... I think that's a scene that may happen. And if it does, I hope one of you people click it. Oh, God, I hope you people... Somebody has to clip that shit. The, just the perfect... You'll hear the fear. Even if the camera's not on his face, when he gets to that fucking door and goes to open it and he can't, you're going to hear that fear audibly. Yeah, you're going to hear it hit his pants as he shits himself. That. The escape route will not work one day. And I hope to fucking God it gets fucking encapsulated. Somebody fucking clips it. It would be goddamn amazing. It's like some weird motherfucker like baked Alaska. I can't even... How is he even still around? How have his parents not like sent him back to the factory yet? Have they not returned him to get a new kid? I baked the that's there are some people who are bad some people who just suck and then there is baked vagina the pussified tweety bird wrapped up in an american flag trying to pretend he's some kind of goddamn patriot while he runs around annoying the shit out of people 
He is nothing but a contest to see who in America has the most patience. That's all he is. That is all he is. Pathetic. Disgusting. Pretend man. should not be given any time whatsoever to by anyone should be banished to the outskirts of fucking society don't even look upon the fucking pathetic thing over there it's almost like it draws off of the eyes you put on it if you look at it for too long it'll start to think you give a shit There are a lot of people who do the thing and they all get accused of being grifters. You know, anytime you do anything on the, oh, you're a grifter, or you don't really think this because, you know, everybody on the internet is also, they're all mind readers and they know what everybody's doing. Baked Alaska, on the other hand, that is one of the most obvious fucking grifters I've ever seen. He will do anything for a dollar. An absolute loser fucking whore of a human being. Has no fucking anything to him. He is as malleable as water when you pour it in a cup. It fits to whatever shape you put it in. And didn't he considers he get... that an existence. I don't know. What are you saying? What are you saying? Didn't he get anyway. kicked off of YouTube? Oh, well, he probably did. But they just make another channel. You know, like fucking Ralph does. And Keemstar did. Uh. Is baked on D Live. That's where he belongs. Gathering lemons on the side of the road. Yeah, he should be on D Live. But no, he's on YouTube. They banned him five minutes ago. He'll he's back and they'll all be back and just make a new video. He's making another channel. This one's in somebody else's name. What's the big idea? It's pathetic. It's pathetic, but it is what it is. Apparently, Chris he says, has wait, Chris said he is, he does have a thing on DLive. I know he has the ones on YouTube as well, but I guess he's just, he's probably doing the multi stream thing too. He will be I, wherever anyone will tolerate him until he has to that. run away. They have their cameras running, and they're all feeding to different pages, and one of them is apparently feeding one to YouTube, he feeds one over to DLive, da, 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 like that. It's a business model. Mm -hmm. Glory, glory, hallelujah. That. Isn't this the great content that you were all waiting for? Over the years, hey, look, someone said the N-word in public. If you've ever wondered why I got away from you, absolute imbeciles, you need not wonder any longer. Look at where they're at. Andy snorting coke off of his fucking parents' coffee table. Ralph is impregnating high school students. Baked Alaska is hiding behind high school students after he picks fights. Jim is out there eating fucking crow because he had been talking about, Amy, she's just a troll. You're overreacting. No, I don't want pedophiles on my show. You're wrong. Fuck off. This is how, this is how this shit is. These are whores. And not the cool kind, not, not the kind that you can put your penis in. We're not talking about fun whores here. We're talking about people who would sell their fucking mom for $2. Oh, what, what's that, a super chat? Yeah, sure, you, you, can, you can fucking shoot my fucking, uh, you can shoot my buddy over here. Yeah, just uh, shoot a bullet right through his fucking shoulder. You know, he'll live through that. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take off all of our clothes and cuddle up naked. On the live stream together. Just send $20. That's a real thing that happened. 
is where they're all at. It's where they all wanted to be. This was the pinnacle. This is pathetic. Useless. Foolish. We say a culture of losers. God damn. Gadfly gave two to say baked tilapia. I don't I don't hate tilapia. I also don't love it. Killer Groove gave three and said, Does Baked have an incel underground account? I'm sure he does. <laughs> Fucking Baked Alaska seems like a guy who would audition to be in that movie, Good Guy with a Gun. And be like, no, I portrayed that character because I wanted to represent it. No, you did it because they gave you money. <laughs> Pathetic. Fucking. I don't know. What happened to? Being a dude in any way. It's one of these guys are dudes anymore. I'm just saw you. Know, which one? If you had to boil it down with all these motherfuckers, which one would you ever bother with sitting down and having a drink in five minutes with? Doesn't even have to be beer, it can be coffee. Would you, would you smoke a cigarette in their vicinity? Would you be around them, not even having conversation, but fuck, like nodding your head looking at traffic go by? Would you stand by the same ashtray? Would you fucking bother? Or would you see them and your human instincts just immediately repulse you? From everything to do with this subhuman loser that stands there before you. They're awful. Just awful. They suck. Not just as entertainers, as people. They are terrible people. They are dumb people. They are whore. People. Uh, Elizabeth Barlow's gave two more and said, and these guys are the first to call other men simps. They're pathetic. It's, it's just pathetic. Watching Bake like run in there, guys, help, wake up, somebody get up and go fight women for me. You fucking loser. God damn. Is. Akujin, if I would, like, right, let's, crazy world, we do a, a RV trip because we're fucking morons. We go do that. And I come inside and I wake you up out of your sleep and say, hey man, can you come help me. Come help me. I picked a fight and I may somebody. Come help me. Now, there's no way you would go along with this because I don't think you're that fucking dumb. You but well, no, you go fight. You pick the fight. But let's say somehow I talk you into it. Somehow, through massive amounts of manipulation, I am able to convince you that what you want to do, Akajin, is you want to go out before me to go fight. After I've woke you up, and I open that door, and when I open that door, we did. you're not looking at even a guy. You are looking at a four foot nothing looking woman. And that's who I'm sicking you on. After all this shit, all of this goes down and I, I grab you and hurl you out the door at this woman. Would I, fuck any of you in the chat? Any of the, anybody? Would you have anything to do 
with me after that point. Anything. I have woke you up in the middle of the night to put on your clothes, go outside, and fight a woman. This is broken. This is broken. This is not how this works. This is not how manhood is supposed to be. This is not how anybody with a spine would behave. I may have talked over it and like it yelled a lot, but I, I, I will have Akajin stand in for everybody because I know that he, I know everybody's answer to this. Hey, Akajin, can I wake you up and throw you outside to go fight a woman for me? Or are you going to hate my fucking guts and never have anything to do with me after that? I'd be more likely to try and fight you. Uh, are what you a fucking shocker. serious? Yeah. Why? Why? What the fuck is that? What is that? Peak pussy to... Peak pussy to... That. And it's allowed. How are you gonna... For that guy, how are you gonna let yourself be baked Alaska's little little attack dog? Run out there and, and maul some woman on his behalf. What the fuck is wrong with every single person in this video? Every single one of them. Every one of them. They all suck. All of these people fucking suck. We're on a bad road, Akajin. Do you want to see more of a bad road? Uh, how bad does it get? I mean, what well, we've let seen me, is let me find out. fucking bad. I mean, somebody said something in the chat before about um, one of his mates running around harassing some cop with a whistle. A cop with a whistle. I don't know. I've, I feel like what we just seen was pretty bad. Not, not the worst. No good. But it's, it's pretty fucking disgusting. And sad. And weak. <sighs> Man. We're gonna go down a bad road again. We're gonna do it. Does anyone need to go to the bathroom before we get back in? To the RV here. Oh, we're hopping back in the RV. <laughs> yeah. We'll, uh, we're gonna scoot back into the RV and we're gonna. We got a little more of a road here. Who wants to, uh. Who wants to go down that road? Down the estrogen road? Killer Groove says you don't want to go down that road. No, no, you don't. I mean, we're going, but I'm I'm telling you guys now you don't want to go. You should... Honestly, you should all leave now. Just turn off the stream now. I think that's... Like, that's legit. That's a good warning. Yeah. I'm being real with you. You don't want to go down this road. That's a bad road. It... <laughs> There's so much down this now road. Now is the time to dip. Yeah, <laughs> now would be the time to dip out, do something else. We're going to go down that road. <sighs> well, if it's uh, anything like we just seen, I can guarantee you that whatever we're about to see is just going to make you feel sad and depressed about humanity. 
We'll see. We will have a uh, reading on this in the next two minutes. I'm having somebody go back through and just go over it. So, what else do you think happened on this trip? Do you have any predictions? Fuck. I mean, what else? What What else? Haven't we seen pretty much all of it? I mean, he's going to run around, look for people that he finds weak to harass and big note himself in front of. If there's any sort of pushback or confrontation, or he in the slightest way feels threatened, he's either going to try to get, you know, his little school of fish to swarm around him to protect him, or he's going to pull out the mace, and then he's going to run. And he's going to try to run before he gets arrested, while claiming that he's winning. <sighs> These are good predictions. These are good predictions. Oh, there's Chris. Just briefly explain the situation to my 12-year-old. And when asked if he would jump in to help, he said, he can deal with his own shit. I'm not dealing with that. That's not crazy. 12-year-olds get it. Do you think... I don't, do you think he purpose, purposefully is like, let me wake up the guy who wants to fight and send him to go fight? Because content, because he, I mean, he had that, that shot ready. He was, you know, he's got the camera, he's behind him, he's like, okay, I got this, yeah. Oh, come on, stop, keep filming. Oh, what? please, guys, come on, come on. Do you keep think filming. he's, what do you mean, do you think he's deliberately going around, um, trying to start fights to get this guy to yeah, fight? I, I can't believe I even asked I, that. Okay. I don't think he's deliberately trying to do that, but I guarantee you that's why he's got that guy in the van. In case his shit ever gets called out, he's going to have his, uh, his little backup that he can just go into the van and go, I'm being bullied. Help. Help. Somebody, somebody said something mean to me. Can you go talk to them? Yes, they're a woman. Yeah, just, just, just film. Just hit them or something. I'll film it. It's great content. It's great content. And what, while you're doing that, I'll start, I'll start screaming, Oh, stop, why are you doing this? No, please don't. To make it look right. like, you know, you're the victim. But really, I'm the victim. Alright, Alex, you not sent it over. The, uh... Ignore that, our title. And let's try to... Try to rock and roll here. Hey, man, through five. This shit makes me want to unironically advocate for Fight Club. I am Jack's desperate cry for help while filming. Yeah. I get that reference. Five points for that. I think a Fight Club would do these kids some good. Oh, what the fuck, man? Going down that road. Country road in an RV. I'm going to have to full screen this so that people can't see the title. Oh, it's going to happen anyway. Okay, just close, like, do the thing and alt and pull the window down so it just cuts off the very top of it. Fuck it. Got to trick them. There we go. What do you prefer? Going down that road or running up that hill? Well, running up the with hill. the roads we go down, the hills looking mighty attractive. Honestly, yeah. I, I don't know. This, this feels more like going down a road. It's something that you we fell into, and it's snowballing, and you can't stop. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna keep getting worse. Anthony wants to run up a hill. Anthony, there's no damn way you've heard that song. Uh, Marino, how dare you associate Kate Bush with these people? I can't help it. I love Kate Bush. She's great. Love some Kate Bush. 
But, uh, man. We're, uh, we're going to keep going down this bad, bad road. Like, all the trees are dead, and they're doing that thing where slowly the branches seem like they are going over the road and, like, meeting each other. This is getting worse and worse the more we go go down the road. Oh, Jesus. We may get to something else, too. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. There's more. There's always more. Uh, more things are always I'm ready. To, I'm already ready to quit after just reading the title. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah, I'm kind of with you. Anyway, just order some food and call it a day. Be done. I can't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the stomach for food after watching this. Fucking baked Alaska. I'm not videoing you. I'm videoing my friend. I'm videoing yeah, yeah, Carl. Just stop, just stop, just stop. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not videoing you, I'm videoing just, him. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just respect. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's sorry, the sorry, woman sorry. Beta, the tough guy. I'm sorry, we're just... Wait, he doesn't look like a kid. Somebody said he was a kid before. He does not look like a kid. No, he ain't a kid. He's just tiny. <laughs> yeah. Alright, keep going. Some stringy crackhead. No, I didn't. I promise. You did, but he didn't. I didn't. We did it one time. One time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just really want some Popeyes. You feel me? We <laughs> we're 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 on YouTube. That ain't we're no kid. Doing little pranks. We love you. You are? Uh oh, you could be if you wanted to. Oh, uh oh. You can shout me out though. All right. What's your Instagram? Chantel Durbin. That's it. Chantel what? Chantel How do you spell Durbin? D-U-R-B-I-N. 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 Hey, I'm so sorry. We we love you guys. My bad, my bad. Okay, we're just having fun. We're on a ro we're on a road trip. We're going to Nashville. Why y'all didn't tell me? Yet? I, I I thought you could tell. We're like celebrities. I tell. I don't know. We're yeah, we're, we're like celebrities. No, no, we're just having we're just having fun. Yeah. We're, we're having fun. Don't we're don't having fun, me. guys. We're on a big we're on a big RV reality show. Yeah. I support you. Hey, Chantel. I support yeah. You. Hands Chantel. in the air. Hands in the What's air. Like. How old is that girl? No, oh, we're going down that road, aren't we? Oh, it feels like we're going down that road. Chantel look a little young for anyone? To anyone? <sighs> or is it just me? Ch Chantel look like she got a fucking Lisa Frank lunchbox back there, yeah? she have a driver's license? Actually, I don't think she got a tricycle license. You just don't care. That's Jessica. Jessica. Yeah, really you guys are awesome. No, I think they have their name switched, right? One looks more. Like Mama Bear. Chantel. Wait, did you guys switch name tags? She's the Chantel. You're the Jessica. Are you calling him a bear? Oh, that's your real name. He's cuddly and big and bubbly. I'm a big bear. Oh yeah, you're a big bear. Oh, listen to this motherfucker. If you could see the video of him harassing old women and running away from another woman. Yeah, you're the big bear. Grrr. Oh Absolute God. fucking ass hat. <sighs> fucking sphincter of society. This fucking sphincter. <laughs> uh God, fuck this guy. Alright. By the way, this is his good interactions. This is... This is the quote-unquote pleasant interactions he has. <laughs> I fucking hate this life, man. This this life they go with. This this whole timeline of how everything's... Oh, it's awful. I hate awful. these people and I hate these guys. So much. God, they're gross. Keep going. I would rather go back to that fucking channel. What is that channel? Good guy with a gun and That but seems like some quality find more. That seems like some quality content compared to this. Oh, we can always find more. I'm a big Yes, I'm a big grizzly bear. Rawr. I'm from Alaska. Oh god. Yeah. You cringy no, I'm, I'm, motherfucker. I'm being serious. 
I'm really from Alaska, I promise. My name is Baked Alaska. Here, show you. My name is Baked Alaska. Oh, god damn. Here, follow me on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, Baked Alaska. This, this follow me on Instagram so that I can tell that it's you on Instagram it's and follow you. Ooh. Very famous, yeah. Yeah, so much. Oh my god, you actually are. She's all of 16. Yeah, he's lit. Yeah, I'll follow you. He, got, he lives in Hollywood and he's like doing a streamer house really soon with like Sam yeah. Pepper and everything. Yeah, I'm looking for a wife, so I'm taking auditions. All these people are live. Yeah. 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 I'm live, yeah. Yeah, they're all That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, babe. Hey, are you single? Me? Yeah. No. Okay, well, She's getting engaged. You, you could be single for the reality show. How about that? Okay. It pays very well. Okay. We got to make Yoba uh, baby. Yes. Yoba. Uh, we want her too. Young for that. Okay. Uh, she's too old for that. Uh, no, no worries. No worries. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's too old for that because she's above 20. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. By the way, for those of you who don't know, they've done streamer house type things before, and there was one of the guys in particular who they're actually doing the RV tri trip with now, who climbed up on a couch behind a girl and may have had his way with her while she was asleep. Don't worry about that. Th I hate these people! Absolute fucking scum. It was live streamed when he yeah. felt the girl up while she was asleep. That got live streamed. Live streaming your sexual assaults, because why not, right? Mm. Mm. Um. Did he mention he was going to Nashville? Well, I think he said that's where he was headed. Hmm. Well, they're going back and forth across the country. They're at a bunch. Of, they're stopping at a bunch of fucking places. Like you can't. Hey, goddamn man, you can't walk up to random little girls at the fucking counter. Start trying to tell him, hey, follow me on Instagram so I can tell it's you, and then I'm going to follow your account. You know that's why he did that, right? Hey, follow me on Instagram right now. Yeah. And then when he brings his phone back, that new follower that looks like her, yeah, it's probably her. He gets her. Ugh. Uh. Goddamn. Can't do this shit. Can't do this shit. I can't wait for him to get to Tennessee. I don't think things are going to go very well for him there at all. There's plenty of places it's not going to go well for him. It's just, will he randomly land in that lottery area where he's going to hit the jackpot and get got? That's the question. Well, he just seems very... All the waiting game. He seems very adept at picking his locations. I think he sends in one of his uh, little errand boys to scout it out first. You know, make sure that there's only women in the store, things like that. Not many people around, middle of the night. Man. I don't know, Keith, play it a little bit. Maybe it gets better. Maybe he fixes it. And... Undoes the past. You, you don't want to have, have kids yet? Oh, no, I don't want kids yet. I'm too young for kids. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Too young for kids. Okay, She's well. 12. <laughs> what? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, you can't get piercings when you're 12. She's 18. Where's she just doesn't want Pause. Pause. Yes, you. I fucking... have news. I have news for you, Baked Alaska. It's called parental consent. Yes. When when I was twelve, I dated girls who were also twelve and had. Well, I say dated. We went to like the skating rink or some shit together, and they had piercings. Girls, what? I... Why does he think girls can't get piercings? What's wrong with him? He's a fucking idiot. Why is he this fucking dumb? 
Why did he even say, what the fuck is he on about? I know there are babies with piercings. What is he doing? People, uh, apparently, according to Crimp, people are spamming 16 because uh, she gave out her Instagram and they already looked her up on Instagram. Yeah, I don't think she's 12. I don't think you can work into it. But yeah, she's young. You can definitely tell. Oh, yeah, fucking she's fucking young. Idiot. Idiot. Nah. Give it a little more. His Gilligan friend with the mustache looks very fucked up about all this. Nose? Uh, nose, lip, stuff like that. Oh you gotta be God. 18 for those, I think. Alright. Alright. All right. Um, Do you wanna buy her a gift? We, uh, Do you wanna buy her a gift? Uh, no, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna head out. Right. Um, hey! But Instagram. Here's Echo Hell yeah, hell yeah. And I guess you got. Tons of new. Just love it. It's okay. I it's cool. everyone. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Right. We're gonna have a good um, trip. All right, take care. Yeah, All right, we will. You gotta love this country, boys. Oh yeah. Uh, gotta love this country, boys. <sighs> Some people, freedom is a mistake. He should not be able to roam around just doing what he does. That's amazing. That's fucking amazing. He's a... no, she can't be. Uh, she can't be underage. She has a piercing. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> She can't be underage. She can talk. <laughs> God damn, dude. That's that's fucking stupid. That's fucking phenomenal. What are you talking about? This is entertainment and streaming. She looks, yeah. She looks so fucking young. Why is? Yeah. Why is the first question he asked her, are you single, instead of how old are you? I'll tell you why, because he didn't want the answer. He didn't care how old she was. He cared if she was single, because that would have affected his chances. thought he was in. Fucking baked Amos ye. And I don't think he didn't ask how old she was because it's a fact of him being a moron. I think that fucking piercing argument, that was just a thing to justify it. This dude is fucked. So this is the kind of guy... This is, this is the guy. He fucking runs around, harassing old ladies, getting into a fight with grown women, hitting on barely legal, if legal, girls. And the fucking front on this guy. Ugh, I'm a grizzly bear. Fucking sad, man. Colin Chaos for five says, uh, this weekend I learned Alex and I are the same. 
person. And apparently Discord is fucking up. The Tonka. Oh, good to know. And I don't think it's a matter of underestimating how dumb he is, Grant. I absolutely know that this guy is dumb. But I don't think that he's that dumb. Like, you don't I, think he believes it at all? Like, legitimately believes it? I like think the it's, piercing argument. That, I that's think, just, you I think, think that's just pulled right out of the ass. Yes, I think it's an excuse. It's a justification. It's, it's a, oh, hey, officer, I, I thought she was legal. She has a piercing. That's such a weird argument to even bother with. Fascinating, though. Just watching think, him do this shit. Fascinating shit. To think that, you know, a girl could only... Oh, she's got a piercing? That definitely means she's 18. To think that that is a given. I don't think he's that stupid. I think it's a disingenuous thing. Maybe he is that dumb. I don't know. But there were so many fucking things combined. So many red flags that this girl is way too young for the Alaskan grizzly bear. God. Are you ready for something else? Because there is more. Oh, I'm sure there is. Uh, There's crawling more. chaos for five, said a low energy train. Meh. I find that to be... That's probably very fault. You're not very low energy on baked at all. You don't seem to like it much. What's to like? Name one likable quality about this person. Just one. Anyone. Is being from Alaska a quality? No. That's not a quality. That's a, that's, that's a circumstance. Birth. Earth. 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 <laughs> uh. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. It's... I don't know. It's, it's gonna keep escalating. We'll, Can we'll get more. No, I... He's gonna keep doing dumber shit. We'll get more. I find it hard to believe. I mean, I don't want to tempt the fates. <laughs> but... Give us some time. After what I've just seen, you know, him hitting on some fucking 16-year-old teenager... Doing his best Ralph impression. And then, you know, doing his best Andy impression. What's next? Well, I talked to someone. They have about uh, two weeks left projected on this weird trip. This is going, someone said, right up into the beginning of the election. And he's doing something else. So, is that uh, a Kujin? Mm. There is now a theory. I'll let you kick it around, if you will. Baked Alaska is controlled opposition working for very, very far left-wing people to make right-leaning people seem more obnoxious. No. You don't buy? No. Okay, why don't you buy? I don't buy that because it 
not only does it seem ridiculous that anyone would pay Baked Alaska to do anything, um, usually when people who have money uh, try to garner, do false flag, that sort of, you know, air quotes, uh, gay op shit. Is that what the gay ops are? Well, yeah, I mean, but to say he's controlled opposition, he would have to be effective. Does anyone, you don't find him effective? Does anyone literally believe that he is anything other than a YouTuber? I don't think he's a Trump supporter. I don't think he's political. I don't think he's right wing. He's not displaying any of those fucking qualities. He's a fucking grifter. He's a YouTuber. He's, he's fucking scum. He called himself a celebrity. I think he to it. say that he's controlled opposition. Look, you could possibly make that argument about certain people like Nick Fuentes or, you know, Richard Spencer. You know, the people that actually will have tr attempt to be taken seriously. In order for someone to be controlled opposition, in order for it to be a work, people need to be able to buy it. You need to be able to sell it. Who is buying what he's selling? That he's anything other than an ass hat. Good God. Everything he's doing, including saying he's a Trump supporter, is to try and provoke reactions out of people. Having the TTS on is to provoke a reaction. Going on about the mask thing is to provoke a reaction. He doesn't give a shit about any of that. He doesn't give a shit about anything, except apparently that 16-year-old girl. He seemed to be quite interested in that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, dear, bud. Oh, dear. Okay. Are you ready for more? Go on, man. <laughs> All right. There it is. I threw it to you. Oh, There's this more. dude. Yeah. I think. Fuck. Just go. Just go with it, bro. I accidentally started playing it. You think what? Do you think it can get a little worse? Or do you think you've seen more or less the worst of what they can do? No, I absolutely think it can get worse. Okay. I could no. totally see a live stream where they are having alcoholic beverages with that young girl. Ugh. Just That's remember. instantly worse. Just remember the climate today and how everything is and all that good shit. And just remember all that. And then press play. Step away from me, sir. Sir, get the fuck out of here. Step away from me. Whistle versus a gun. Hey, whistle versus gun. Whistle versus gun. He's gonna shoot me with his gun because I got a whistle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is funny, isn't it? <laughs> this is fucking hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> he's afraid of a whistle! Oh yeah, yeah, he's afraid of a whistle. Wait, you're gonna tase him? Oh my gosh. <laughs>
this motherfucker taking advantage of a national crisis of people's deaths to act like a fucking a dancing monkey blowing a whistle. What is that? The, the monkey clapping the symbol? That fucking jack-in-the-box thing? Oh, God, that's got a name. I don't know what that is. Whatever that is. I can't, it's not a jack-in-the-box. It's a whole other thing. It's with the symbols. Yeah. I the, don't remember what it's called. Just the Maybe most I... the most annoying thing. Doing that to be thrown dollars. That's bad. Kayla and others were saying they would have already tased him. Oh, fuck yeah, I would have tased him. No. Uh, give it a little longer. I mean, Crucial for maybe. two said, uh, does he get aim, aim, aimed? I swear if he doesn't. Oh, it'd be nice. <laughs> oh, no, don't taste me! <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys need to I'm grow top fly security! You all need to grow up, okay? Top fly security, I wish I was an actual cop! <laughs> what a clown. I hope this man will I don't have a wife or kids. <laughs> He's scared of you. He's scared of the whistle, guys. Please get the whistle away. Yeah. I have a gun and a taser. Leave me alone as a whistle. Oh, help me. Oh, I'm so scared of a whistle. What a fucking baby. Oh, he retreated. Beto, bitch, shut up. Holy fucking shit. Beto, Bro. Oh so my gosh! Fucking betas. Let me, let me play victim real fucking quick. Fucking betas. Here, here by Grant. Here by. Fucking methods, oh. man. I don't think they're methods. I think they're fucking cloud addicts. People will say shit like "based" in their chat, so they think that they're actually cool. These are the people who nobody would sleep with in school. But as long as they do really dumb things on the internet, people will say, hey. Is that why they're trying to sleep with schoolgirls now? I think so. They were rejected by those girls forever ago. They will remain rejected by them for the rest of their lives. I... Goddamn, dude. Like, these are the guys who sat through their fucking college classes, not getting fucking laid. Went through high school, went to the prom, sat on the fucking bench. Uh, considered kissing their friend that was a guy just because fuck it. Girls aren't interested. Like, they're in bad shape. Allegedly, uh, Baked confirmed that he's, uh, that they snort Adderall on the back of the RV. Would not surprise me 100%. That guy seemed high as fuck. Well, I know they do, and, uh, there was even that other thing where he, <laughs> he was on a live stream one time with me where he starts going back and forth with Andy and both he and Andy start acting like they're going to drop drug dealers names on live streams until they are fucking reeled the fuck back I think now I, I don't remember, remember how you remember they were going to get okay. themselves killed that's what I said I said okay so yeah, they're probably going to end up getting it. But I can't remember a failure like what he he pretended that they got knocked out of the call or something. But he moved them out of there, sent them something, and then brought them back. I can't remember which one or if it was just one. Something. Something happened where it was like, calm the fuck down. Pretty you sure can't. I remember that, yeah. Puffin said that was a rough stream. No, no, that was one of our streams. When they're both on, they were yelling at each other. And they start acting like they're going to drop drug dealers' names. Because they were. Yeah, because they're both fucking idiots. 
And they are ready to incriminate who the fuck ever. I can incriminate myself better than you. Oh yeah? Oh, I'll incriminate God, myself and my drug dealer. Oh yeah? I'll do it. No, oh, yeah? <laughs> that. Man. If Grant said that's when Baked offered to fight you and then backed off. Well, yeah. I'm not a fucking 80-year-old woman. He's not gonna fucking do anything. Yeah. And when Bake said that, not only was in the India, he, not only was he on the internet, he was probably high. Oh yeah. And Bay, he was pathetic then. He's pathetic now. But yeah, right. may have remembers that one. Six hours of Bake and Andy having a bitch fit at each other. It's yeah, something like that. Was it six hours? <laughs> They were fucking going out. They were going out of their minds on that dream. It was insane. Uh, two cokeheads about to drop a dime on their fucking dealer. Like, you know, real genius shit. You ever uh, regret stopping that? What? Stopping, stopping them. them from pulling doing them in. That? Yeah. When you look at what they've gone now? on to do, do you now regret stopping them from making a mistake that could have got them? You think it would have been better to just give them to the streets? Maybe. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe? I can't tell you that I haven't thought about that before, but I also can't tell you if I know whether or not I'd do it over again or if i just let them do it. Oh, my God. Pleading the fifth. Smart. <laughs> I can't tell you. That's a hard choice to make. You send me back then to that particular point, I don't know what I'd do. You know, do I let them, you know, get their fucking heads cut off and shit? Like, it would be crazy. Like, it's not just going to be something simple. You don't do that shit. But, I don't know. I don't know. Didn't Andy get kicked out of Ice's house for doing drugs in the bathroom? Probably. Andy's been kicked out of everyone's house. Any house Andy has been in, he's been kicked out of. Yeah, he's been told to get out of it. Crucial Bunny gave to him and said, let's be honest, this is all Paul's ego's fault. I don't know who that is. Uh, he came on once and told Andy to quit being such a hooker. And Andy was permanently scarred from this, and he blamed me, even though Failure was the one who brought him in. I found out about that way after, is that this was this horrible moment for Andy. And he blames me for it. I never talked to Paul Zigo before that day. He seemed fine. I don't care. Still got nothing against him. Uh, he called Andy out on things that he was correct to do so on. Andy was full of shit, and had been full of shit for a long time. And, and okay. he tried to steer him right, and he didn't do it. And now you see where Andy is, picking up lemons on the side of the road. Ah. Uh, man. <laughs> man. I don't have much at all for any of these people, but I, I do. I do. I do have a little thing. It was like, if they quit now, could I stop hating them? You know, if they if they stop doing the things they do now, stop being such massive nuisance to everyone around them. Could could I stop hating them? I don't know if I could. These are the kind of people that even if they, they become a nun after they do this, I'm still going to fucking hate you. You're gross. I don't give a damn if God forgives you. I sure as fuck don't. You nasty. Not everybody gets that treatment. No. A lot of people turn their life around. Life goes on, what the fuck ever. But with these people, fuck no. I wouldn't trust him with the family dog.
and the rest of uh, this video, by the way, just random, like, goofy conversations they're having with each other that they think are really funny. But I wanted to make sure we showed that because, you know, go around, annoy the shit out of a guy. You know, be that guy. Yeah. Because you're in the, the climate of uh, riots and uh, in George Floyd's, the wake of his death. Mm-hmm. All right, Puffin said, uh, clout is a hell of a drug. And uh, I have to agree. I have to agree pretty hardcore. I've seen kraut, kraut. <laughs> I've seen clout ruin lives. Should be a Schedule 1 narcotic. Yeah. And just watch clout ruin everyone. Everywhere you look around. This mother is like, oh! I'll do this and this and this for clout. I'm out here fucking... Fucking chase little old ladies around and yell at them for some clout. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. But that's the commodity. That's kind of what the exchange rate is out here. I mean, you just pull some bullshit, get some fucking clout. Run with that. Run with the clout. Ignore that everyone around you is completely full of shit. Keep going along with it. It's all good. Do some crazy shit like Baked Alaska is doing right now, and people will all forget about how completely full of shit you were five minutes ago. Agree with Cran uh, Grant again here. He said, clout ruins more lives than coke. Uh, on YouTube that I've seen, I think it does. A lot of these fucking people are fucking cokeheads and shit. But yeah, the but clout? That the clout comes first. That's the gateway. The clout drink. comes first. <laughs> first the clout. Uh, fucking people. Okay, what am I looking at? I got sent another thing. Not a video. Oh. Good. Okay, I'm gonna send you uh, two things. Willow said uh, when he first started his channel, he thought that 95% of this web drama was fake. One of the only... his only wrong moments. Turns out, it's real. The dumbest mofos in life seem to find their way to YouTube and record it. That... And that the sad truth. Well, it's easy to think that a lot of it's fake and for content because there are a lot of people that do things that are fake and for content. Keemstar, pretty much all he does is fake and for content, except for when he's going at people who don't like him because he can't stand it when people don't think he's cool. He's fucking 40 years old. Gives a shit about that. I stopped giving a shit about that when I was like 22. How can you possibly care if people think you're cool? Who gives a fuck? Especially on the goddamn internet. We're not even talking about in the same room. We're talking about people on the internet don't think you're cool today. They're not even your peers. Random Do you names give a fuck? On the internet. People you give who a fuck never, the problems you. Yeah, people who will never be a part of your life in any, you know, meaningful way, shape, or form. They will never empty my fucking dog's fucking water dish to put new water in. They will never even matter that much. Fuck. They don't matter. <sighs> oh, yeah, right after that spat, apparently, uh, Andy's family got doxxed. That's what Andy was telling me then. I do remember Andy left the call because he wanted to tell his father that he had been doing coke. Before he told everybody else. That was the thing where Andy said it, it wasn't right to not tell my dad before I told everyone else. I was like, Andy, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you, are you really finding a weird moral high ground to doing cocaine? Yeah, that seems like some weird fucking cokehead line of thinking. 
make up some weird arbitrary thing that some any way know. to have all the, the smallest amount of I did the right thing. That yeah. What what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I need to let my dad know. Yeah, I may do coke, but at least I told my dad first. Mm -hmm. Puffin said it was back when they all thought doxing was bad. Yeah, doxing became perfectly fine once it became clear that they were the ones doing all the doxing and Crowd had never done it. And it was like, oh, well, fuck it. We'll just, just dox everybody out in the open. Didn't Baked's Discord dox him? Well, Baked was also typing in his Discord and typing to people and all kinds of shit through the entire conversation. So did he get it to happen? I don't know. But he definitely... uh Use the information upon it coming up. So there's that. Uh, WJW Willis said, That's been my biggest YouTube struggle. Sure, I want to be successful. I think numbers matter. However, I will not lie. Make mountains of molehills, etc. I have to retain integrity. There are times when some things don't seem like they would matter but you can add context to them that make them matter more. That can be fun. Uh, blowing things up ridiculously, like you see with a lot of like commentary channels, useless. And any gains that you see from that are very short-term and detrimental in the long run. Even if they weren't, let's say you keep all those people. You have a gaggle of morons. Is that the audience you want to cultivate? Pretty much. That was my thing. When I told everybody, look, if you believe the dumb shit that Mr. Medicare says, you should probably leave because he's full of shit. When I said that, people shit bricks. They had no idea what to do with that information. And you Part of that shit's how I ended up meeting you. Hmm. It's... People didn't know what to do. They've never been told that or some shit. I don't fucking know. Apparently, no one's ever been like, wait. That gym guy, he's full of shit. Why did any of you listen to him? They don't know what to do with that. I, they all go at like, Matt. Matt lied about this one thing. This guy lied about this one. I can rifle off like 20 fucking things that Medica lied about. Blatantly. And anyone with any semblance of a mental capacity should be able to figure that out. I don't know. It's weird. But everyone went with it. I don't know. I guess it's a thing to do. Or maybe they feel sad for him because he smokes too much. I don't fucking know. Like, he's... I don't know, he's a, he was just some dude to me, but apparently there are people who needed him to such a degree that if you say that he's full of shit, fucks their life up. What's weird is today you can go look at his Twitter, and he's written a couple of lines about how I was right and he was wrong. Now he leaves out the part about how I was right and he was wrong. No, he doesn't explicitly yeah, you don't say get a that. Mention. I don't need to mention. I knew I was right that day. I knew I was there when I talked to him. Get the fucker out of here. You people are dorks. Stop talking to pedophiles to get views. Fuck off. Yeah, you do have to worry about the type of audience that you will cultivate. Because, uh, as people like uh, Ralph and Andy found out, the type of audience that they cultivated, fuck them. Oh, shit. Pretty you sure the Beatles once were picked on in school. Mm. Go ahead. Pretty, pretty sure the Beatles once sung a song about a you know sowing a a parable about sowing seeds and different places depend on what kind sure? of uh, crop you you grow pretty sure it was the Beatles 
Maybe. Grant said it makes you think of other people who said they were trolling as a pedo. No, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't make me think about them. I already know. I'm not a fucking mark. They can go around and tell these goofy fucking lies to people that will put them up on a stage because they desperately need the views. I'm not that guy. I don't need the views. I got shit going on outside of fucking YouTube. The word. This is not... This is not the living right here. I appreciate the donations. Okay, that's cool. But this is not the living. And none of you have enough money to pay into that little thing right there that's going to change who I am as a people and make me go along with some bullshit. If I find out it's bullshit, I'm not going to do it. You can go fuck yourself. This is another thing I won't do. Go along with weird pedophiles. Because it's like, no, 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 it's a troll, bro. It's good for content. That's fucking disgusting. Every single one of them did it. They all, they all would throw a pedophile up there and be perfectly fine with it, be it Zoom, be it Amish, be it whoever the fuck it is. They'll throw them up there and be like, oh, it's good for content. I don't know if it, maybe I'm just really fucking, I don't know, what would the word be? Maybe I'm just a prude, guys. But there's something in me that just says, there is no content in putting a pedophile on a stage. Oh, it's absolutely abhorrent. If you want to, to, to think that expose that it... them or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Putting them up on a stage is not how you do it. Yeah. Giving them a platform or a pedestal to, to spew this, this filth off, even if it is fake, even if it is a troll. Mm -hmm. There is there is nothing to be gained from that. Yeah. It is absolutely disgusting. And the funny thing is, so many of these people say, oh, it was just a troll, they were just trolling. Oh yeah? Until they get arrested. Amos. Do you, wanna, do you know what makes this fascinating? What makes this really fascinating? People would go around and talk about, you know, Jim's out there, he busted a pedo or two or whatever. Who? Well, they'll point the Ross. Well, no, because we actually checked into the Ross shit because he said that he was working at a school and nah, fam. Uh, if somebody's messing with kids isn't going to be working at a school. Yeah, he wasn't. The Ross shit was fake. That's something that was fake. That's why there was... You never heard about an arrest. You never heard anything develop on it. Predominantly fake. It's just some guy that Jim could troll and it was a very easy target. He likes that. That's why he, he's not going to, you know, he doesn't want to get on a live stream with somebody who's not an easy target. Ross was a very easy target. It's been fucking looked into. It's not real. You get to the part where you have, oh, I don't know, a machine around. Zoom. And Jim says, oh, but that's fake. Do you see the issue with these people out here pretending to be exposing pedophiles on the internet? Yeah, they're calling the real ones fake and the fake ones real. Mm-hmm. Don't know their asshole from their fucking elbow about what they're talking about. They're just trying to get content from themselves because they're fucking whores. You know, it's... All they do... And they don't know their asshole from their elbow, and they're just trying to get content because they're fucking whores. I think he gets it. <laughs> Pick one. Grant said the school was fake or all of it was fake. I've not found a bit of the Ross drama or any of that stuff that was going on. Around that time that was remotely true. Because that night, ain't nobody feeling like sleeping and is like, no, fuck this. And next morning, people are making calls and shit. And slowly but surely, guess what? It's all bullshit. All of it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. Darren says it was a great storyline, though? though. Here's Hold on. Here's the problem, Darren. Here's the problem with that great storyline. We are turning a blind eye to actual pedos because others are content-friendly. Be it bullshit or not.
We will paint this guy as a pedo because it's content friendly. We will not say this guy's a pedo because that's content friendly. That's a problem. It's a massive problem. It's a problem. Also, Grant said, hold on. Grant said, so he just picked on an autistic kid. Grant, come over here. Come over here. Everybody else, go go over in the corner. Grant, come over here. You're coming into my office real quick. We're going to talk for a second. All right. Grant, I know you think that was a really good question. But riddle me this, man. What would you call Thrax? He lied about Thrax because Thrax made fun of him. And that's how fragile the ego is of Slender Man in a ball cap. So are you really asking me if he just went in on an autistic kid? Is that really what you're asking me? Is that what I'm being asked right now? We're not going back out there. I just, I just, I want to make sure before we go back out there, if that's what you're asking me, Grant. Grant said, fair enough. Okay, good. Grant, we're good. We're good. All right, let's go back out there. Put on a good face for the people, all right? We're going to put on a good face for the people. They won't know what happened in here. They won't know about our little talk. Uh, they won't, they won't, nothing about it. None of this gets out to the public, all right? Private discussion in the office. Not a big deal. All right. Hey, Akajin, we're back. Everything's good. Are you, uh, how you doing? I'm still pissed off over the whole fucking thing. The whole, you know, the fake Ross thing. Because part of the problem with that, not only are you making content, not only is it just about content, but also there are some people that will hear these things, obviously people like the circle that you were in, and go, this guy is a fucking problem. We need to have a look into this. So you're wasting people's time. Because they actually go, okay, this, this needs to be looked into. So that if any child is under threat, that can be passed along to the authorities. So you're shielding. The, the, the people that heard you and may actually be willing to do something to solve one of the worst problems in society get the run around because you want to make content how fucky is it it, it how fucky is it scale of 1 to 10 how fucky ah oh, at least at least a 7 or an 8 mm -hmm. you're basically running interference well, smoke screens for other pedophiles because you're distracting That's people what I was from real say. issues and real people. Bordering on helping out pedophiles. Well, does it not? I mean, uh, who, it does who, incidentally, but you are almost you are almost actively helping them. Well, who benefits? Be you, even if you're passively helping, who benefits? I'll tell you who. Fucking pedophiles. That's who benefits, and the people getting the don't you know. Running the channel. Mm -hmm. You had people who were running around pretending that things were true that were not so that they could get content and trying to get you to turn a blind eye to someone who has just now been arrested for actual child porn. If this doesn't you know, fire off a few fucking things in your fucking mind that haven't, if it hadn't happened before, I don't know what to tell you. Don't pay attention to these people who are actually doing things. You need to go in on this guy. He's a very easy target. Lots of fun. Idiots. And you're seeing the same shit now. Puffin Every said who was arrested. Amos Yee. Everyone you said know, the guy who was totally a troll. Yeah, everyone said Amos Yee is a troll. And everyone is saying that Brit Bong is guilty of sending, you know, um, pedophile, uh, child pornography around to people. Mm -hmm. What happens when the police actually investigate? Amos is locked up. Fucking Brit Bong is exonerated. Weird! Isn't it? Weird!
It's almost like every single time these motherfuckers tell you something, the exact opposite is the truth. It's... They're like fucking politicians. Whenever the, oh, the, the mainstream media... Whenever the mainstream media or a politician tells you to worry about something, you don't have to. Whenever they tell you everything's fine, start worrying. Yep. Grant said it's almost like they do it on purpose. And not fucking, and not fucking weird. Isn't that odd? Isn't all not this shit fucking weird? Isn't it? You have people running interference for people who are actually doing bad things. Trying to get you to go to very easy goddamn targets just so that you'll just have fun poking at it. Ignoring that there's actually really fucking horrible shit that these other motherfuckers have done and are doing. But don't worry, guys. Uh, they're just trolls. Ignore them. Uh, please, go over here and listen to more of this fake Ross works at a school bullshit. Please. I'm sure that's true. That, that definitely wasn't debunked within 24 hours. And ignore the proof about Zoom, right? That was just a troll. That night when we, uh, we fucking confronted Zoom, he has been on a weird downward spiral since he'll never recover from it. Because that night, and it happened on the kill stream. To me, this was a far better kill stream than that dumb mundane match shit. Because you have Zoom trying to convince people. Like, legitimately trying to convince people that the reason he said that he had child porn was because his girlfriend said he played too many video games and she made him record that so that if she, what was like, break up with him if he played games again or something? It was pathetic. Yeah, he pathetic. Made, he made out like he'd done that for her so that she would have something to blackmail him with. Really? Really? The most pitiful excuse you've ever heard, and I shit you not, Medicare would go on, he'll, well yeah, sure, people troll like that. How fucking stupid do you have to be to believe that? Just, Medicare just, stupid. Just roll that thing around in your head, does that sound in any universe be remotely believable? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Is it clicking? Everybody clicking? Is it starting to click? And that wasn't that these even... motherfuckers will turn a blind eye to a pedophile if they think they can get something out of it advantageous to what they're doing on YouTube? See citation for Diorio and fucking Keemstar. It was Diorio's idea to bring in Zoom to help Keemstar do his thing. And when things took a left, yeah, Diorio talked shit about it. But Diorio brought in Zoom to do that. That's a thing that happened. The ooh, the facilitator. Why do people interact with these people? Why? They have no fucking morals, no soul. And let's be real, Jessica, as the saint that she is, ask yourselves! My congregation of cult members, there's something wrong with all of you because you're even in this chat. Ask yourselves. Is there any way anyone on planet fucking Earth could convince you to say what Zoom tries to convince you his girlfriend got him to say because she didn't want him to play video games? Or are you just that deluded? Don't worry about it. The only way you could possibly believe that somebody do is completely full of shit when they give that story is if you're brainwashed by an internet cult. Don't worry, guys. I'll, please, new Kool-Aid. Replace the Kool-Aid. New Kool-Aid. Everybody, we're getting fresh Kool-Aid out here, all right? Fresh Kool-Aid is on the way. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. This one's got a bit of kick to it. Dude. What flavor? Grape. I mean purple. Purple flavor.
Willow said the only guy that always kind of sketchy to me and bothered me was Zoom. Dude, maybe it's because he was a... After you'd heard that shit, he's an open pedophile. Trying to get his girlfriend to look at child porn with him. Yeah. That'll fuck somebody right off. Yeah, that's a little sketchy. That'll do it. There's something in me that will stop me from saying, like, you know, if something horrible happens to Bake to where, you know, he's no longer around, I'm not going to celebrate that kind of thing. But when you have one less person on Earth, there's a fucking pedo, man. How do you not celebrate? The world is a better place. Children are one bit safer. Yeah, that's worth, that's worth fucking being happy about. Like, I'm, I don't hate other groups of people to such a degree to where, like, I'll see people who do that for, like, Democrats and Republicans. Oh, Republican died, I'm going to cheer. That's terrible. But I'll admit it. If I hear that a pedophile got, got I have it in me to where I'm just good. Motherfucker, good. <laughs> Get another one. I can't fight that. That's something in me, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I should feel anything wrong with that. I feel like that should be okay. Feels justifiable, doesn't it? To me, it does. It's definitely justifiable that if somebody's a fucking, I don't have to give a fuck if they die. And I could definitely be okay with the fact that it happened, and maybe even happy. That'll happen. You fuck with children and you try to hurt, like, they, you do terrible shit like that? No. No, sir. The most defenseless. Monkey Phonics said, didn't Zoom swat the wrong thumb? Well, he claimed he was going to swat me several times. Never did. But he did swat somebody, recorded it, and somehow nobody ever said anything about it. Keemstar worked with him after that. I still have, and I didn't get rid of it because someone sent it to me and I knew it would get flagged down. One of the few things I downloaded off of the internet was when Zoom swatted somebody live and not a fucking one of these people had the balls to say a word. Not a one. But flashbang dog, right? That happened. Puffin said Zoom is going to go to... You'll find out if he ever does that because you will read about... Yeah, we'll be celebrating that, that death of the pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be reading about it. You'll know when it happens because you'll read about it. There ain't no discussion of that. I lay eyes on him, he's straight in the ground. Um, that will be the last episode of the Kumite. It'll be run only by me and it'll be held in mm -hmm. memory of Tonka. <laughs> While he's incarcerated. I'd be fine with that. I'll take that hit. If they're like, yeah, that wasn't a good self-defense, I, like, I don't give a damn. Don't give a damn. So. We're doing we the wrong the... thing is the right thing. <laughs> We made it to the, the nicer part of the stream. We've, we've talked about all the things, and now we, now we get to look at them and reflect on them and definitely learn something impactful and useful from everything that we've gazed upon for no good goddamn reason today. I didn't really learn anything so much as I've just been reassured of how full of shit these people are, how much of a massive nuisance. Uh, these cringy piles of human garbage have become. And that I, I'll gladly eat getting flagged all the goddamn time like we did. I'll take it. 
I will take everything anyone ever says about me. I gladly take that. But guys, the moment that you catch me doing that, anything close to what Baked Alaska is doing, Go ahead and put me out of the, uh, put Tonka out of his misery. Just end it. At that point, it will be time to put, uh, Tonky out to pasture. You get what I'm saying? Start harassing little old ladies trying to go and fucking get their groceries. Pick a fucking fight and go wake a Coogin or somebody up to go fight it for me outside the RV. Like I open the door and shove him outside and then film it. That'll Put me be out the, the day, That'll be the day you drove your Chevy to the levee. And the levee <laughs> And good old boys fuck. will be drinking whiskey and rye. Sing it. This'll be the day Tonky dies. Tonky no want to die. But I should. For real, if you catch me with that, I need to die. You need to take. You need to old yeller the fuck out of me, Akajin. You promise you'll do it if you catch this shit. Anything starts happening like that, it's like, all right. I would expect Tonky's... any of you to do the same for me. <laughs> You're like Tonky's foaming at the mouth. It's it's time to do what needs to be done. Their fate's worse than death. That's what I think too. And I think one of them is being whatever he is. It's bad plant. The RV is a mistake, said Dr. Herb. It doesn't help. The RV is just... It's just a prop. The mistake is the IRL streaming. The mistake is the clout. The mistake is the bullshit for clicks. Mm -hmm. The mistake is the people. Those are the mistakes. Every single Bastard. person that supports it is making a mistake because you're encouraging it. It's Every the bastard single... children of reality TV and fucking YouTube videos. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. They just give it... All they've got to do is the right thing on a screen and they'll be a star. They really think that. They think that one day everybody's going to give a shit. Okay, make no mistake. I think you'll be able to walk into a restaurant, hit on a 16-year-old, and go, I'm Baked Alaska, and she knows who you are. You don't have to Gives tell her that you're a fuck. celebrity. Yeah. The... The big one for me is... That... Yeah, fuck me. How much clout do they really get off of this? Think about how much damage they're doing to their actual lives, and then go back over the top of that and measure the clout. Exactly how much clout is this actually worth? It's do a, do the uh, do the that's, give and take on it. It's a mistake. That's what it is, because they're getting all the attention from all the people they don't want attention from. Is, there are quite a few clout people. In it. That know the name Baked Alaska and know what you look like now. And they're not the kind of people you want recognizing you. No, nobody fucking likes that guy. Like, even the people watching him, they obviously don't like him. Or else they wouldn't put him in these situations. When shit happens to him, they spam fucking the N-word. You know, they make it worse. Those aren't people who are hoping for your success. That's not what that is. They're all there to watch a dumpster fire. They want to watch you get in some sort of fucked up situation and get shot or something. That. That's what they want. They will wait for you to die. And they want to watch it happen. That. That's why they're there. Darren IRL said, IRL streaming is like a train wreck. You hate to see it happen, but you just can't look away. 
I absolutely could. Uh, one of the first times I remember, like, people uh, in the audience just shitting their pants was when I told them, I told them, I told Jim, I was like, this is cringy and dumb. How do you give a fuck? Like, what is the appeal of IRL streaming? And then they try to explain it to me. Well, somebody just sends a bunch of money to a speaker and it spams the N-word for 20 minutes and you have the streamer run around annoying people. What it is. Oh, pretending like he's oh I don't know what's going on this this yeah. this weird contraption just does this occasionally I have no responsibility here that I just I look at that and immediately I just I, this is dumb and lame what do you I don't care who's talking about it this is stupid and that was the first time like people were like trying to get me to talk about something Jim was talking about and I was like. This is dumb. How the fuck do you care? He's like, oh, this, this old chick and Baked Alaska. Not Baked Alaska. I think he was there. I don't fucking remember. But this old chick and uh, Ice Poseidon. Come on. It's cool. Look at it. Uh, oh, no. Corinne. It's. Maybe. I think. Maybe that's where she came yeah, from. I, I thought she came a little Andy, after that. Corinne, Ice Poseidon saga. I remember uh, there was also the young girl who shows up. She gets into a call with us because she got invited in because I hate failure and Andy. And when she gets in there, like the audience can't see her, I'm not even fucking with you. She lets her top fall down. Don't remember her name, but someone went through it. They absolutely took a picture of it and circulated that shit. So it's around somewhere. But yeah. Aaron? That was Grant. That one. Young blonde. Oh, not yeah, like that... super young, but not Corinne. The, there was uh, Corinne, who was the old one, and then there was the other one. This was the 26-year-old 20, opioid addict. Probably, yeah. No, she She's was. just talking to us, and she great. let her top fall down. And I'm talking to her on the air, and I'm like, I don't care about you. She's like, why don't you like me? Why won't you talk to me? And I was like, I've already seen your tits. I don't even know your name. I can't possibly even pretend to give a shit about what you have to say. I, I swear to God I remember that. Oh, you remember that? Yes. You said, I've seen your tits. Uh... What more is there to know about you? You're just a fucking hole. I don't even know your name. Why would I want to talk to you? That... I, that sounds like what I said, yeah. That happened. Yeah, she was the original stink finger. She rolled that, that fucking... That pussy ball up. Pussy ball of gunk and then sniffed it. Ugh. Fucking nasty girl. Deep in the throes of, uh, opioid addiction. He's... I hope she's cleaned her life up. I, th I don't have high hopes or much knowledge of who she is. After, like, I did that one stream she was on, she tried to talk to me, and I explained to her, no ma'am, no interest. Not cool with it. Mav says it was on a scrub stream. Was it? Somebody invited her in, I don't remember who, and she's there. She's showing everyone's tits. Alright, Puffin said, doubt. Which part do you doubt? Because I have a feeling I can probably go figure out a way and see if I, I still have like the conversations from where that fucking thing happened and you would see everybody be like, No, I think why Puffin is her tits is, out? I think Puffin is doubting the fact that she may have cleaned herself up. I said, Oh, I, clean I, herself up. I said, I hope. Okay. You it know. was, this was a bad, a bad interaction, no matter how she, how she would have wanted it to go or what. I don't know what she was going for. But I can't 
take you seriously when you're trying to act like you're pretending you don't know your top's falling down? Like you have the giggly girl smile and you're letting your top fall down because you're trying to win people over like I've never seen tits before. And it just... No. No. Hey man, Gabe Fives, I just got done with my workout and almost peaked. I think that's good. Also, I think I was there on... You were on that stream? Which one? The oops, my tits are out stream? Or the... You were there for that? I kind of remember Scrub being there. But you were there for that? Yeah, says he. Says he it was, was my tits. You were, okay, did you see? Are you, were you in the call or just in the chat? Did you see the tits in question? <laughs> I thought that was a late night with Broski. Oh, God, no. No, we were playing a video game with Scrub and Harmful Opinions. That's how, like, Scrub won't talk to Harmful Opinions. Did a stream with him. And then after that, that fucking girl showed up, and we were off to the races. He said, I don't remember seeing tits. Were you in the stream or watching it? Killer Reeve, where are the tits, these? I'm not, I ain't gonna bury her either way. What I'm burying, it's not gonna be what she looked like on. It's the fact that she's letting her shirt drop like she doesn't notice it. Like, down to her waist. And giggling and trying to win people over. I don't remember seeing this. Perhaps I got Corinne confused with the Aaron Brock. Maybe. They were this was... orbiting around each other around the same time. Yeah, there was Corinne and her, and people were trying to hook up with her and not Corinne, and that was the whole thing, if I remember. It was kind of the dynamic of this cringy shit. Uh, there was Corinne from 20 years ago, and then there was 50-year-old Corinne. Yeah. God, that was probably weird for her. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's how that played out. Grant said, you saw Corinne's tits, my condolences. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that what Heyman is saying? Oh, no, he said he didn't see tits. I think. Everyone has seen Corinne's tit. Oh, uh, not Corinne. Oh, uh, Erin. Anyone who cared to look could find them. She started doing live streams where she would do that shit while she was off her fucking face on opioids. And yes, we remember when Erin picked the Vag Burger and then sniffed it. The original scratch and sniff. It was fucking nasty shit. Someone named Steve said, Hey man, you didn't. I think I saw the same stream and it was done off, stream, off screen. Well, Scrub's playing a game or something, if I remember right. And we're talking in, I think, a Google Hangout. And it's just a big fucking yeah, either black screen with a little avatar or if you have your camera on, a big picture. Yeah, he's not saying it was displayed on screen. He's yeah, saying... you didn't see it on screen. Though I think so, one of the people in the chat took a picture and put it on Twitter. I'm pretty sure. She may have even fucking retweeted it. Like, she ended up doing some really raunchy live streams. She was begging for attention. Yeah. She was completely hollow inside. Which one of these people aren't? Uh, they all are, but I mean, I, I think I feel sad about her. Oh. Was she still attractive enough to care about? Well, I didn't particularly find her that attractive. I mean, I just, I, I had pity for her. She never really did anything wrong to anyone else. She was just completely fucking up her own life. I mean, most of the people that I don't have any sympathy for, like, that's because they've done things to other people. Now, Corinne was a, 
uh, Aaron was a fucking mess, but she never fucked anyone over that I'm aware of. Yeah, I don't think she did. I didn't want anything to do with her, but I don't really want anything bad to happen to her. That's kind of where I'm at. I, I, I separate, I put a big line in between the harm you do to yourself and the harm you do to other people. As soon as you like start doing harm to other people, that's when I stop giving a shit about you at all. I don't know. JB said baked pariah. Not terrible. That's a decent one. I don't hate that. Uh, Corinne is the one who went to Compton. I remember that. Oh, they thought that was going to be so cool, and then it wasn't because they're fucking idiots. And Ralph spent like an hour and a half or two hours just calling her driver every racial slur he could think of because the show sucked. Uh, it was it was fucking tragic. I told you it was going to suck. The start of the show was like an hour and a half of her fucking not being there. Alright, Puffin said she turned off her TTS. Wait, she also didn't get out of the car. Yeah, and then eventually after six hours, Ralph's like, fuck this, and he abandoned her. And then she started up her own stream. And almost got raped. Well, that's what she said. Dude, I, I watched the thing. Those guys that were trying to get her to come along, they they had they had plans. Oh, you think? I don't mean to assume, but I mean, based on my spidey senses tingling, I would have gotten out if I had been that woman. And she absolutely tried to get out. I do not think good things were about to happen to Corinne. Nope. I think they were going down a bad road. I agree. <laughs> I think a bad road was uh, being gone down in that one as well. Yeah, you didn't want to go down that road. I was raped down that road. Either gonna get robbed or something. I mean, fucking... At the worst, she was absolutely about to get robbed. Oh god, wait, Some... I forgot. Yeah, she... Do you remember the thing... This happened a little bit after our live stream, where she showed up and let her shirt fall, and it was just like, the girl's a mess. Um... She fucking... She was doing shit where she's yelling at her parents on live streams. Do you Aaron? remember that? Aaron, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because her, her parents I were absolutely disgusted in her and trying to get out. Oh, they wanted nothing shit. to do with any of this shit. And they knew it was all bad. Yeah. And she would fight with them. She she would be trying to live stream her tits to the world and they would be banging on her room door going, you need to get right with Jesus. I didn't know that's what they were yelling at her. But well, they whatever they were yelling directly, at her, something. But they were trying to get her to like... Fucking wake up to yourself. Stop it. It's not the answer. I'd forgot about that part of it. I was reminded I read something in chat about it. Uh, I'd, it would be nice if everything got resolved. She got cool with her parents and everything's cool now. That would be really nice. I really... I did not care for and did not want her around back then. It was... She... Reeked of issues. Oh, just issues. That's that's a whole lot of baggage with blonde hair on top. I don't, we don't I, we don't need anything like that around. I don't know why everybody was so gung ho on it. Other than her tits I guess, weren't that great. Her, bo her vag had boogers in it. There was no oh. reason to go into those issues. What is the boogers in the? I don't. Dude, you don't remember that? that? I shouldn't ask this. You don't remember that? What do you mean I don't remember? What do I not remember? The, bo the vag booger. The vag booger. You don't remember that? She was on a live stream and she reached down into her pants, in, you know, 
and plays around for a bit, comes out, has a ball of something, and rolls it up around her thumb like it's a booger, and then smells it. It was okay. absolutely rank. I don't care what it was. I know where it came from, what she did with it, and it was absolutely feral. This sounds familiar, but I feel like I have walled this off <laughs> in the back yeah. of my mind. <laughs> Deleted a purge from memory, put into quarantine. I feel like I put this in the recycling bin, so I can't yeah. exactly access the file, but it's not totally deleted. Yeah. I, I, this is familiar and god-awful. I hate every... I didn't see it, I hope. Did I see this? You... Uh, I guarantee you've seen it, and you've, you've <sighs> traumatically repressed it and created an alternative Tonka that doesn't have to remember with that. Marino is going to go get coffee and erase this from his mind. I don't blame him. Kind of want to go with him. Yeah. You're going to want to Irish up that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... Goddamn. Isn't IRL Akujin. streaming great? <laughs> Akujin, I don't remember Look at I all the treasures it's brought it. us. <laughs> I don't remember it. But I recognize what you're saying. Yeah, this is like that weird feeling in the movies where somebody can't quite remember their past and shit. It's that, but apparently with a vag booger, which makes it hardly worth trying to discover what it is that is missing from my memory. I Well listen, Vagicil sponsor in three, two and hi everybody, make sure to get your Vagicil and make sure that you are not leaking veg boogers all over your particular significant other. Action for real. Cool. One did this get streamed? Claim right now. Did she stream it? Or did oh, like no, somebody upload a video no, of it? She streamed it. That's how we know. She did it on stream. I was kind of hoping she was telling man. a story. I was kind of hoping this was like she just told a story and didn't think it was as gross as it was. I guarantee you if you looked for it, you would find it. I don't. I'm not saying I to do just, so. What kind I'm of bullshit would you put into Google to find that? Um, Aaron Give me some keywords. Vagina booger. Mm. It's a bad show. Don't worry, Crint's gonna find it for you. <laughs> Crint said he'll find it for me. What a hero. I know, right? Apparently Ralph watched it on his show and caught a strike. As he should. A vaginal booger? Dude, it was fucking... It was so fucking nasty. God damn. And this this is the problem with clout. <laughs> the only thing people... Vagina remember, boogers! The only people... The, the only thing people remember you for, Aaron, was being a whore... Being on prescription opioids and the vag booger. Was your she 30 seconds doing... of fame worth it? Well, she may have done something totally different in the past few years. I don't know, and I won't bank on it, but it'd be nice if she did. Like I said, I hope she cleaned her life up. But... I'm not going to hold my breath. Until we, I remembered the parents thing. I really didn't care anything about the story. But then it's like, God, you imagine being parents trying to explain to your dog. Please, stop being insane. Stop hanging out with your, in, your insane friends, please. Please stop filming yourself pulling boogers out of your crotch and smelling it. This is a bad show. I'm a good show. Maybe the uh, show needs to be memory hold. 
It <laughs> was, there it is, sweet Aaron. What? Um, somebody said they couldn't remember her YouTube name, and Bella remembers it, sweet Aaron. Of course Bella remembers it. Oh, and Heyman is now in the darkest dungeon. <laughs> He's going to the darkest dungeon for relief. <laughs> uh, badge boogers, though. Not going to get rid of that phrase. Now, even if you don't say that phrase for another two years, it will pop up in my head from time to time. And that kind of phrase immediately following, here comes a visual, and before you know it, bam. Awful visual. You're thinking about the story. That's two or three minutes down the hole. Mm. She made uh, Rachel Mrs. Scratch and Sniff look classy as fuck. Uh, the scratch <laughs> and sniff biscuit so crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's Whisker my... That, that, biscuit crumbs. That's my new Dead by Daylight name. <laughs> Well, <sighs> wait, what is this? I, I was about to ask. Uh, do you think anyone can top Whisker Biscuit Crumbs? Well, not to be outdone, Krent throws up Vag Boogers, a.k.a. Barnacles. That is foul. Bleh. The fucking dangleberries. Alright, Thrax is, Thrax is pleading with us. Because he is very sick. Uh -huh. <laughs> Crucial <laughs> mutt barnacles. <laughs> ah, your mutt word. Get the fuck out of here. That's fucking nasty. <laughs> Mutt. Mutt. <laughs> God damn. It's such a ah, uh, it's such a feral word, isn't it? I fucking hate it. Pretty rank. It's gross, nasty. The nastiest that... thing I can think of as for a name for a vagina. That's number one. Yeah. Mutt's pretty gross, so yeah. I... Bad show. But, uh... Oh, the only... I remember when we were talking about lesbian bathroom revenge trolls? Good times. Accurate. Good times. <laughs> Accurate. As, as bad as I thought that was that day... In I, hindsight. I <laughs> In hindsight. Maybe... Maybe we were hard... On the lesbian bathroom troll monster. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe the gay revenge troll needs another day in court. I mean. Alright, here we go. We'll do it. We're gonna put it to a vote. People, I I I have appreciated you guys. So far through this one. So if you, if you can do one more vote. Akujin does love his vote. So let's do, let's do one more vote before we go. Press 1 for Bathroom Lesbian Revenge Troll. Press 2. For Badge Booger. Hey, that's another thing she did. She also licked her nasty ass feet, which were what? black. Oh, oh no, no! I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That bad. <laughs> you remember her nasty black feet and how she like licked that toe? It was a bad time to be alive. <sighs> Mm. 
one chick you know is going to end up with the funk in her life. It Aaron. Aaron ain't sweet. It's sour, Evan. That I don't I don't know. I don't know if there are any good memories. Is, how did her how did she go away? Did she go away? She's gone, right? Yeah, she just faded into obscurity. She just went away. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Well, she's not like still around doing makeup tutorials with a cosplay twist, is she? Maybe. But it's been a long time since I've heard her name. I'm worried about it. Yeah, what What if one day we just show up and there she is again? It'll bring all those memories flooding back. What if she learns how to pick things instead of with her fingers, with her very black feet? Herschel's like, didn't she die? I hope not. What? I don't know. I haven't heard about her passing away. I, I hope she didn't. That would be sad. Unfortunately, though, the life of a prescription pill addict is tenuous at best. Are you sure that's what was going on with her? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I didn't I didn't pay that much attention to her. Yeah, there was another stream where um she'd uh, been cooking up. You could see the foil and shit where she'd been. Yeah. She was she was an addict. Well. Help for the guildless has given two to say that's it. Burn it down, you nasty. I saw her two days ago, said WGW Will. She's still around, goddamn. Oh no, that's Aiden. Alright. Oh, she was nasty too. Oh yeah. Fucking toenail chewer. Dude, there's so many goddamn... So many nasty women around here. And people want to go at BAM. Uh, well no, I remember, like, people... We're hardcore trying to get with Aiden Paladin behind the scenes. I won't tell you who and how many. I will let you know it was multiple. Yeah, there would have been a lot because she had some nice tits, but every you can Andy probably else. guess. Andy, you can... Alia, fucking Ralph. Yeah. It was bad. It was really bad. Sure, even Liz Reptile would have tried. Probably, yeah. Uh, but that's who was around, and that's who was. That's who everybody was, I guess, kissing up to and trying to get with because girl on YouTube, I guess, she was a status symbol. I don't know what the appeal of her was. It was. Uh, it was I could text. talk to her. Yeah, I could talk to her, but I'm not trying to fucking anything like that with her. There was entirely too much of that shit going on. By the way, for Baked Alaska to allegedly be doing so great and all this shit like he was talking about, he literally has been able to muster a total, a total, a total. Three whole people have showed up today. Three. A whole three. And A whole three. And all of them. Between the entirety of three, I'm pretty sure they are sharing the same brain cell. Yeah. That's all three of them watching each other on their phones. 
imagine being uh, by their names i'm assuming they're guys imagine being a male and watching a guy pick a fight and then send a tiny male out to fight for him and being like that's cool after harassing an old woman and running away from another male that stepped towards you yeah I mean, I get those views without doing that, just by playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Alright. Like, there's being a loser, and then there is, uh, being a pretend man. Like, baked. And the gaggle of people who circled the girls beating up the guy. <laughs> Like, it started with him, like, throwing the girl, and then it was like, no, no, now we've got four girls just beating him up. Brutal. Just a brutal indictment on the state of alleged males. Stelthor says, my hate speech. Dude, we ain't even talking about hate speech. We're talking about the lack of testicular fortitude and spinal column in the people you watch. And the reply to that from the big brain is, y'all cucks. Do you see... Do you see... How short of a shelf life this shit has? No you. Literally, no you. No you. Okay. Well... Do an experiment when you get some time stealth rush. Go back and watch that video where he sends the little dude out for the fight. And look at all those guys. And spot the sack. Just, just circle the guy who actually has any, any semblance of testosterone in the fucking body. Circle them and put that up on Twitter and uh, at Akagen or at Redman Radio with it. Just let us know. Because I, I, we were struggling. We were playing Where's Waldo with the balls on this one. Like, where, where are they at? Where, where are they? They all seem to belong in the ovaries of the women. It was a bad day. Hmm. Douchebag said, those guys in the video were with Baked. Yeah. Why are they not helping their friend? He ended up getting beaten on by the women pretty hard. They could have stepped in and kind of mitigated some of this violence. Instead, they stood there with their thumbs up their ass. Just let it happen. Because 2020 pussies. I don't know. I got nothing. It was... What a display. <laughs> Just what a display. Fuck. We'll call that game Where's Baldo. Not a bad name for the game. Not a bad name at all. There's... I don't know. Just, just so many problems with everything on that video we watched early. <laughs> it's just, it's nothing but problems, and I hated it. Very bad. Just a bunch of dudes standing around. A one guy wakes another guy up, sends him out to go fight a woman. It's, what are you doing? Where is all this shit? It was. I don't know what the fuck are you supposed to do with this shit. What are you supposed to tell somebody? Like, you're fucking, a family member comes up to you after you've done that packaging. How would you explain that to a family member if you had done it? Fuck. Can you, hey, Akuju, what you are you doing out there on the internet? It? Yeah. Well, you, can give it a, you can give it an effort. I don't think there's any explaining this.
I, I can't think of any reasonable explanation to make that okay. I just said, I wish I was the duty mace. I would have fucked his entire life up, man. I'm kind of surprised that guy didn't go into more rage mode. Like, mace, it... It can it can stop the guy sometimes, but that seemed like a situation where it was a roll of the dice. The guy seemed like he could have got mad enough to where he said "fuck Mace" and just suplex him on the fucking ground, start throwing hands on him. Just how I read the situation. If he, if I think about. I don't know, the idea of dude runs up on you. If he would have, I think if he would have maced him right when he ran up on him the first time, fine. But like running away, turning around, and then macing him, I don't know. I don't know how it looks. It's hard to tell from the fucking angle on his goofy fucking camera. Looks fucking weak. That! Pretty simple from where I'm sitting. I don't know why he bothered picking the fucking fight. Oh, he wasn't picking the fight with that guy. That guy was just there. He wasn't expecting that. He wouldn't have tried to pick that guy. I don't... I, I don't want to say... that it's... that it's cut and dry, like, either way. It's... It, for real, with somebody doing, you know, the first person through the can, we don't have a good feel for where everybody is. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Uh, I can hear what you're doing. You're trying to give him a certain benefit of the doubt. I will give him that benefit of the doubt. Tom said, imagine Tonka pretending to be tough. Well, apparently I was tough enough that Baked Alaska shit his pants at the idea of me saying that I would definitely fight him when he asked to fight. So apparently I'm that tough. And unlike Baked Alaska, whenever a fight broke out around me, I started throwing hands and didn't go wake up a fucking itty bitty dude to fight for me. That's crazy. Like there's... This isn't even a situation that calls for a tough guy. And maybe that's what's, what the most pathetic thing about it is. Maybe that's what makes this the saddest. This doesn't even require a tough guy. Just any. Just a guy. Just have some fucking balls. Ten seconds of having balls. Do you need to be a tough guy to not go out and, like, beat up on a woman? That. I hate to break it to these baby back bitches, man, but goddamn, son. You gotta be ashamed. You just ought to be ashamed. I just. The way he bothered the old lady, that's the one that it still bothers me the most, but I'll go with the one that is probably the most controversial with the end one. You have a guy who goes around, picks fights, runs and hides inside of a fucking thing, wakes somebody else up and sends them outside after they just woke up to fight women for them. Yeah, because he maced the, the only other guy there. Yeah. If that is not an indictment upon someone's alleged manhood, I don't know what is. If that isn't a moment when... Anyone who wants to pretend that they're, yeah, sure, I'm a patriot. Yeah, I, I care about how this is portrayed. Or this is, any kind of, like, real issue they try to hide behind on things. If you had any of that, you walked off as soon as you saw this pussy doing that. I'm not against fighting. I'll watch motherfuckers fight all day. I don't want to see somebody go wake their friend up in an RV and send them outside to go fight some women because they're too much of a fucking pussy to back up these, the actions and the words that they were saying a moment ago. I don't want to see that. It's useless. What Baked was pulling was useless. It's bullshit. It is pussy bullshit. 
pussy bullshit. You run up on Andy Worski, he pulls out a fucking gun. You run up on Baked Alaska, he pulls out Mace and runs to go get his fucking friend. You run up on me, I'm going to kick your fucking head in. There's a video of all these things. I'm okay being the I'll kick your fucking head in guy. Very much pussy about kicking somebody's fucking head in. Very much fucking pussy about throwing hands with somebody. These motherfuckers find ways to get real goddamn pussy real goddamn frequently. Constantly, even. Constantly. They out pussy themselves on an almost daily basis. I say almost daily basis because I don't pay that much attention to them. It probably is a daily basis at this point. People shitting their fucking pants. Whenever they have to face the consequences of the dumb shit they did five seconds ago. Jesus fuck. You, I don't know, do, what do you think would happen if he couldn't have got in there? What if he couldn't have got in, inside of the RV action? Remember that scene we were talking about earlier? Let's say that played out. What happens if he can't get in that RV? Oh, she would have kicked. The, she was gonna kick the shit out of him. He's going to shrink down into a little fucking fetal position ball and cry like a fucking victim. And you know it. Because his escape route wouldn't have fucking worked. Earlier this year, whenever that crowd brawl broke out, and... I've said it a bunch of times. I had a lot of fun because, you know, it's kind of a throwback to the 80s. You know, you get in a big fight with the crowd over some shit because, you know, one of them got too much into the work and then they start filing and you've got a fucking big fight where you're punching with the crowd and shit. And I kicked one guy's head and I'm fucking like just punching at people and fighting indiscriminately in a crowd of people until it is, it is brought down. That is fun. The more you think about it, the more ridiculous that is to have done. I won't say I didn't have fun. Yeah, I had fun. That was fucking cool. Looking back, kind of cool. You don't know what random people have. That woman, when that guy opened the fucking door of that RFB, well, she, she could have... A gun, a knife... knife. Grab a fucking taser and jab it up in their fucking neck. It's dumb. It is dumb to get into fights. And you it, gotta have sack. And it wouldn't have been outside the realm of possibility for her to have a weapon because she already knew that Baked ha had one. Because he just maced a guy. That. I won't say it's, uh, it's anything... Other than dumb uh, to get in fights, unless you unless you were able to assess all these things, yeah, it's a dumb thing to do for fun. You know, like when people do a backflip, that's a dumb thing to do for fun. They break the fucking neck. But yeah, I don't. I don't think people see it the way they should see it anymore, and they're all so horribly afraid of fighting, so terrified of a uh, physical interaction. Because they've never even been thumped wrong. I mean, the fucking wind can offend these people. A leaf falls on top of their head. Uh, there was a point when I probably would have thought of it, you know, differently and thought maybe the guy has a has a chance to do something or something like that. Maybe he would be able to rectify the way he's thinking and doing things. I am far past that. When you see somebody like Baked Alaska doing what he was doing there, he has been told it was okay for far too goddamn long. He's been coddled too much. Yeah, he doesn't know another way. He's too old to change. Fucking buffoon. Cowardly buffoon. No. Um. Pretty sad, tragic tale once you get down to it, don't you think? Yeah. Fucking guys. Doesn't look good, man. 
I did have one more thing I was going to throw. Now that we're done talking about the chubby, loser, pussified, pathetic, garbage individual that is baked Alaska, maybe we could change gears a little bit. Maybe we could talk about somebody cool, somebody, you know, worthwhile, right? Somebody who's done something good. That could be nice, don't you think? Shift sure. gears in a positive fashion. Sure. Are you down? Mm-hmm. All right, so I heard about this, uh, this guy on YouTube. He's a he's a guy who likes to evangelize almost science to young people, to influence them with science. You know, teach them things. Lots of information. Hold on. Breaking news. Just got some, oh, oh, never mind. He's been arrested for child porn. Go ahead. Scratch, uh, scratch the last segment off. It's, uh, that's fine. We'll just, we'll go ahead. That's good. No, that's good. It's fine. Yeah. All good. That was, uh, it's the happy scientist. Yeah. The two happy scientists. Not happy anymore. Yeah. He gone. Seriously, fuck YouTube and fuck people sometimes. This is a really bad platform sometimes. Fucking marketing himself for kids as a scientist. And people, I mean, like, if you're a parent, that seems to be the sort of channel that you might even direct your kids towards. Oh, this is educational. This is science-based. Mm-hmm. Fuck me. Mm-hmm. Maybe YouTube was a mistake. Has it really done that much good? I mean, I... I learned how to put some stuff on computers together with YouTube tutorials. I did that, yeah. Is that... Not really a worthwhile trade off. I I learned how to make a shelf and what's what's what the deal with the frogs are. I guess there's that. Guess there's that. I don't know. Anything any other news items anybody has? Uh please anybody? no more. <laughs> any any good anybody got any good news? Some good news. Uh At this point I will accept you had a good lunch today. Hmm. I'm planning on having a good lunch. Hmm? Yeah. I'll take it. I'm gonna go get some subway. Oh, Jessica had a pretzel burger. There. All right, ending on a good note. We win. That's good. That's good shit. High five. Up high. Pretzel burger. See you guys tomorrow.